How are you working? My god. <clears throat> okay, YouTube is back up. YouTube was such a piece of shit that I had to change the stream key by resetting it and then re-input that back into OBS because it couldn't reconnect to its own, like, video after network failure. Helldiver, take command of the galaxy's liberation. And now I have to go into this and get this to reconnect. Why is this not connecting? God damn it, dude. You're gonna have to give me a minute. Your fellow Helldivers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Join them. Liberty's enemies march ever closer. All right, it looks like everything is running again. Jesus. I can't believe that everything crashed when that happened. Like, what the living shit, dude. I'm pretty sure everything is kind of still broken as well. I don't think the queues are working. Everything crashed. Yeah, no, the queues aren't working. Give me a sec. I have to do some more work on this. Everything is completely destroyed. The system isn't set up to, like, gracefully exit if the whole internet goes down. It's not supposed to do that. Jesus. Alright. That is now set up correctly. YouTube is working. Queues are set up correctly. And everything was lost from before the queue. Great. Fantastic. You love to see it. The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Fantastic. Let us Put a box around the router? Dude, there already is. Stone. Like, he just... I don't know what the hell he was doing. Not really the best move. Hellpods prime. Alright, looks like things are working again. Hmm. How's liberation going? Dude, the whole network just died. We've had a crash today, the network's died, and we have to fight robots. It's a rough one. It is a rough one today, let me tell you.
Read that YouTube has default auto stop enabled for streaming. It's not even a default thing. It is. It. Anytime YouTube doesn't reconnect correctly, you have to reset your stream key. It happens randomly. I don't know why this happens. It is not a setting. Sometimes it works and it's fine. Sometimes it is not fine. What's he doing now, though? What's the bot doing? What? Oh, come on. That's dumb. That's so dumb. Like the grenade blows up inside the building and I'm on the roof and it launches me. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. Honestly, ridiculous. Can't control my pod. There we go. Ready to liberate. Tanking map west far. But no, you still need light armor, and the reason why is because we have a lot of distance to cover. So light armor is just always better. There's not really a situation in which you need heavy armor unless it's a defensive mission. Generally, there's no reason for it. Lounge King with two dollars said pickle is fruit in the juice of another fruit. You know, I hate that you're right, but you are right. Found something. Where's the bot factory? That's gonna blow. Nice. What is this gun? Plaz Scorch? It is amazing. I love this gun. Love it. Oh, the alert time's broken too. Well, that's busted. The nightly simp with 1,000 yep. bits said me and my friend had an argument about the usefulness of mathematics in CompSCI. How useful has math been for you in your career? Kind of irrelevant, to be honest with you. It's been irrelevant for a long time. There's no real need, I guess. Calling in a hell bomb. There hasn't really been a need for, like, high-level math except for when I'm working on physics systems, if that makes sense. Let's set this. There we go. Reinforcing. And let's try that now. Okay. That may fix Sending the linking. I don't know if it will. It we'll have to wait and see. The date time seems to be correct. I'm fixing some of the date time stuff right now to see if it works. Yeah, we'll see if that functions. 
The Charboros with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100. Nice. Wasn't paying attention. Alright, looks like it is working now. Links are back up. I feel like going through a ship like that should blow it up. You know? All right. Where they're at, ants? Uh, because they're horrifying. Found something. Oh, there we go. Whoa, dude. That is not what I wanted, that's not what I wanted, that's not what I wanted. Why am I standing? Get the hell back down, you idiot. My character just randomly stood up. I wasn't even touching the controls. Yeah, that should take it out. Oh, okay, we just don't have an orbital laser now. That's cool. Let's uh, let's try throwing that again, I guess. Okay. So there's a radius in which you can throw, but we have armor. Is it a jammer? Like, is this jammed? Like, what's going on here? Okay. I got nothing. Looks pretty jammed, right? Wha Games, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, there's some weird shit on these maps. It's ridiculous, honestly. Completely insane. Yeah, flopping around like a salmon, dude. There it is. Okay, out of stamina. Oh, that's just what we need. Really? Let's go break this thing. All I gotta do is get up there to the fabricator, if there is one, and it should blow this up. Otherwise I have to get the jammer terminal, which is not really what I want. Did it not blow it up? Nope. Easy shit. Gone. Next. Calling in reinforcements. Where's the fab? It's usually like right around the back, right? There it is. Jammer's down. Shit. God damn it. Okay, cool physics. Let's stand up. Awesome tank, dude. That one's down. Oh my Jesus. Get 
That one's done. You notice how we just swam out of the ground? That makes sense, right? You know? It's pretty good. Alright, we're good. Yokel abductee with 500 bits said hi Thor. Have you ever seen the UK Marmite adverts based on the UK animal rescue ads? No, I've not. I won't link them, but just search yeah, YouTube to find them. Also, game oh. demo recommendation Starship Simulator, which is currently being kickstarted. I'll have to check that out. No, I've never seen those Marmite ads. And to be real with you, Marmite's just not as good as Vegemite. It's true. It's true. Yeah, there's a lot of really wonky physics today. In kind of like a um, rather odd ways. I don't even know. Like falling underground ragdolling it's just it's the normal kind of behavior of uh of bots bots just don't feel as like the environments don't feel as correct there's too much knockback too much bullshit weird weird to fight comparatively and they see you from freaking forever away dude <clears throat> like way way too far away All right, that'll fix that. Where's extraction? Dropping a pin, northeast, 300 meters. Democracy has been well delivered. Right. May your extraction be swift. Yeah, laser straight up kills these bunkers. You don't even have to care. I hate that they know where you are after you throw a kill orb at them. Yeah, I know, it's really annoying. Especially when you're like, you're like super prone, and you like throw it and you're hidden behind a rock, and suddenly they're shooting at the rock that you're on. Like, that shit's dumb. <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense. Kind of surprised none of the mods showed up over here when this happened. The accidental turn off of things. What are you talking about? Mods have been here the whole time, bud. Calling in extraction. Coordinates received. This is Pelican One returning to extraction radius. Calling down five. The Charavoros with 500 bits said glad my test helped. Oh, 07 thanks for being an inspiration for so many people. It's weird I keep losing the game though, but hey at least the hotel has free Wi-Fi. I just lost the game chat. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Which super weapon is best for bots? 500 kilogram bomb. That's the only weapon you need. Bit Sadie with 500 bits said go make games. Enter Hell this yeah. world. This needs us all. Goblins must unite. Nothing can stop us. Only ourselves. Many goblins make Thor happy. Everyone must do their best. Do it now. Become a goblin, dude. ETA T minus three minutes. You are a goblin. You've always been a goblin. Is the dude hiding around the corner? Alright. Eat it. Alright. I think we're doing it. That's a tank. Calling in orbital strike. That's no longer a tank. That one's a tank. I 
don't know if it hit it. We'll find out. Requesting air support. Dude, I don't understand how that's bouncing like that. You see that shit? That doesn't make any sense. Got one minute left. ETA T minus one minute. Ready to God damn it, his shield's in the way. God damn it, game. I'm sitting there, I'm like trying to stay low, and it makes you stand up randomly because you hit like a little lip on something. Yeah. Got it. I got the samples, we're good. Yeah, it's always Rocket Devastator. Always is. Always rapid devastation. Henry's eating the soup? Let me look. Oh, he's eating it. He's doing a good job, too. Look at this. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's eating it without help. I've never seen him do it. That's awesome. That's really good to see. Yeah. So, he, he went into, um the clinic today and he had his ears completely flushed out and they got a ton of garbage out of there and then after this we've got a couple of options going forward where we're going to set him some new stuff but we we likely will have to put him through a type of surgery where they puncture his eardrums drain everything out of the middle ear and then repair the eardrum so that may end up being what we have to do we'll have to wait and see because we want him to get better it's 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 part of the process to doing this yeah We'll do what we need to, but this is good to see. It's really good to see, actually. Really, really good to see. That's possible? Yes. Science. Yeah, exactly. Sounds expensive? No. Manage it's not that bad. Calls for aid. Only you can Coordinates Geological survey. Hellpods Prime. Violent Hobbit with 500 bits said feel like just giving up. Nothing I try works or succeeds, even after months of time investment. In Doesn't therapy and on meds for two years and nothing is helping. I just want to disappear. Nah. Willing to try anything to get out of feeling this way. Any idea? Failure is a good thing, man. It's, it's easy to feel like, you know, oh, nothing works, so nothing works. But in reality, every time you fail at something, you're learning something. You're getting better at something. You're realizing, hey, that route didn't work. Let's try something new, right? You get to mark things off the checklist. It's not a bad thing. And I think part of 
why I'm able to like have drive and like go forward and do things is because of the fact that I see failure as a benefit. Anytime I fail at something, it's time to keep running in a different direction, right? Or we'll learn something and run better. So, I don't know what I can do to help you besides say, hey, you should talk to a professional at that point if you feel that way. But, yeah, failure is alright. Failure is normal, it's natural, and it's fine. Good. Keep it. It's the best way to learn. Yeah, Phil Witt's in the squad. Yes. Yeah, Let me see, what do we got going on over What is this mission? Verify Orvan. So we got nothing really over there. I'm gonna head up to that one. Oh, you guys do this one. Nice. I love bones. Yep. Okay, game. Son of a bitch. Uh. It's a freaking flare, dude. Okay, where are they? Where are they coming in? Requesting orbital. Engaging orbital laser. Bags empty. All right, I'm gonna get around this. Man, it'd be really cool if I reloaded when I hit reload. That'd be awesome. Very cool. Where even is he? Is that an enemy? Where the hell is he? All right. Reinforcing. All right. Looks like we get an eye of Sauron on the map. I'm going to see if I can take that out. Yeah, I'm on it. Can you hit it, maybe? Get Just back. a little bit? Excuse me? Okay. Too much sand in the air, can't see shit. Terminator looking bastard. Alright. Is there a way to turn off all this dust? You can't see shit on these maps. Like, the enemies can clearly see me through this. And I can't see them. Like, legit. This is ridiculous to look at. Like, what are you supposed I'm gonna dump that in the middle of their base. It's not smoke cover. No, it's not. It should give you cover just like smoke, though. It's gonna be that much dust, to be honest with you. It's kind of absurd. Alright. Sample 
Detector is down. Dropping a pin. Two hundred meters. Dropping a pin. Southeast. Far. Nice. Got a turret over on the right side. The hell is shooting him? I don't know if I have enough ammo to take that out. But I might. So I'm gonna try it. Actually, better use. Requesting orbital strike! Calling in reinforcements. Okay, turrets down. Okay. Well. Oh. All right. You know, it's good. We're good. It's fine. What level is this? Highest. No, I think I want my other gun, even though it's almost out of ammo. I do need supplies. Tagging map. Southeast. Far. Okay, we got a Hulk over there. Rare sample acquired. Shit. Shit. Requesting air support. Jesus. Well, that worked. Easy. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's the rock. Pretty sure that's it. Okay, we're good. We have the super samples already. Jesus, dude. What is even hitting me? I don't actually know where that enemy is. Oh, it's a tank. Okay. Calling in reinforcements. Alright. Isn't this a team game? Yes, we're all running towards the objective right now. They shouldn't be bunkering up there. We already finished that objective. So I don't know what they're doing. Alright. So the fighter feel like an ashes of creation? Doubtful. It'd be really cool if, like, look how far they are and they're still shooting. Like, you can't even see what's shooting at you anymore. It's ridiculous, actually. Like, why? Why am I still under attack by something I can't even see anymore? 
Not only that, why am I under attack by shit that can one-shot me? Jesus Christ, dude. New man. Finally, ammo. Calling down a support weapon. Let's get this. Not super credits. Alright. Time to move. What the shit was that? Is that a tank? Calling in orbital strike! I don't know what that was, but I want it dead. Alright, I guess that doesn't work. Very cool. I need stims. No. Okay. All right, got the objective going. That wasn't a grenade toss. It was a stratagem and it didn't work. There's a problem with if you're throwing stratagems too far, they just don't work. Like, they just don't activate. And I don't know why. It's really kind of annoying. Now, even when there's not a jammer, it breaks too. We've had it break even without jammers. It's because I have the 30% range armor. That one worked. That's good. Yeah, because the, the servo arm, you would expect it to be better, but it just, something's going wrong where it's just not working sometimes. Sometimes it's jammer, sometimes it just didn't work. No, orbital strike, not having a target to strike so it fails is not a thing. You're just making that up. So if you fire it and it doesn't have something to strike, it just shoots the location that it lands on. Can't just make shit up. Doesn't work that way. Requesting orbital. Yeah, it came to me in a dream is not a thing. Alright. This is not a good situation. Bomb. Please. Thanks. That's a good hit. Man, P2. Down in front, man. Alright, I think we're good. Did that just, like, shoot right through him? <laughs> like... Uh, I feel like that went right through his body, right? Is that thing not dead? Well, here we go. Oh, come on. Boo. 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 
I just needed to hit it up once and it wouldn't let me do it. Boo. What's the tactic against the boss? Throw stratagems and, and die over and over. Like there's no there's no strat here, dude. Like Especially with 500 kilogram bomb just sometimes not working, right? Because that landed pretty much on top of that Hulk and it didn't kill it. Yeah, like... It's a whole lot of, like, crawling in bushes and shit and hoping that you, you don't die. It's not, like, good gameplay. Why does it say killed by pirate software? Because the game is bugged. Well, it gets rid of two of those. Okay. Oh, okay. It's freaking game, dude. It just makes no sense, dude. It's one of those things where, like, a game like this is fun. At least if, like, the physics and shit makes sense. But, like, I just got shot through, through a rock. You see that? Like, the bullets are going up through the bottom of the rock. Like, it's just... They make this gameplay that doesn't make any sense with the terrain. Like, that shit makes no sense. Yeah. So, yeah, it's frustrating. It ends up being frustrating because it's, like, absurd bullshit like that. Where you're like, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just dumb. Dumb, dumb bugs, honestly. They're Job just not fun to fight against. Gaming with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, love all your content and advice. What do you think is the biggest make or break for someone trying to make streaming, content creation their main job and income? To be honest with you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. You should do streaming because you think that it's fun. And if your community grows to a size where it makes it so that it's financially stable, then you can kind of approach that bridge when you get there, right? It's something that you are doing where you're adding value to the people that watch you and the people that watch you add value back to you don't go into it thinking like i need to make this financially viable it doesn't work that way it never has it's kind of the same thing with making video games is you approach that with i want to make a cool game hey do you want to do you want to you know come hang out while i make a cool game right? do you want to play that game and it's that's all that it comes down to it's an entertainment thing <clears throat> have you tried out world of warcraft plunderstorm no If a bond is pressed up against a wall and turned away that the gun model is in the wall, it'll spawn the bullets inside the wall and there's no backwards collision. Yeah, that's ass. <laughs> like, I'm aware that that's the, that's the bug. The problem is, is there's so many of these inconsistent issues with bots where it's like, they can snipe you from across the map, there's one hit kills the rockets, stealth doesn't work against them 99% of the time because of the fact that they just some, somehow know where you are and they can shoot through walls randomly. Like, it's just... Like, why are they like this, right? Am I getting tired of Helldivers? No, I'm tired of bots. I don't actually like fighting the bots, ever. But we have a major order to do it, so it's like... There's no reason for me to not do this. The game is incentivizing me to do this, right? So, like, with that in mind, I, I don't like fighting bots. I really don't like fighting bots, because I find them to be really shit. No, I'm not going to lower the difficulty. Screw that. So, I think, to be real with you, I think we're going to go defend Hellmire, because this is getting dumb. Or go help take Oshan. You cannot allow the yeah, because bots aren't fun to fight, dude. They're just not fight no fun to fight. Viable. We must redirect our attention. Initiating FTL jump two. They wanted you to bug test the bots, lol. No, it's just not a fun fight. They're not a fun fight because it's not even about difficulty. It's about bullshit. There's too many bugs with them. It's too much bullshit. Yeah. Not fun to fight. FTL jump successful. Yeah, the bugs are more fun to fight. Because they make sense, right? And also, on top of that, you have every single mission is a four-minute extract. You have every single mission, you have three stratagems instead of four. So it's just like all of that shit on top of that. Like, why? It's not fun. Here to play a game, you know? Bots are way more fun than bugs. Go fight them, then. All yours, bud. 
Does the arc weapon still make crash? No, it doesn't. It does not crash the game. The bots do have more bugs than the bugs, yes. Bryce the Battle Phoenix with $10 said, Hi Thor, I just wanted you to know that ever since you Apex hack video, my YouTube algorithm has become nothing but battle royals. My YouTube algorithm has been nothing but battle royale. That's weird. That's really weird, actually. I don't know why. Like, even beyond that, like, you can't use the mech, you can't use a lot of weaponry, your character dies too quickly against those, so it doesn't even matter if you're wearing, like, gear. You're basically just running around and throwing stratagems. It's like the whole thing. Odd. Odd, odd, odd. Yep, the arc thrower is now fixed. But look, even off the bat, we can have so much more effective, like, drop-in stuff. And then on top of it, we get three stratagems instead of, like, instead of four on the other one. So it's like, why? Does the ballistic backpack help? No. You still die in one hit from a missile. Even if we use the, the armor that's like, uh, reduces explosion damage, doesn't stop you from getting ragdolled or killed in one shot with a missile. So it's like, it's not relevant. Yeah, the best strategy for bots is to run away, and even then, you can't, because you've got this big, massive environment it doesn't work on. Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, the missiles need to be nerfed, for sure. I forgot to switch my gun over. I am on the wrong gun. You are very close to me. Yeah, I gotta swap my gun over on the next one. Why am I climbing that? Okay. Hey, it's going to be one of these kind of days, dude. No, shriekers are broken. We knew about that, though. Like, that's that's a known issue. Is that when shriekers are falling out of the sky, they one-shot everything. They all actually kill a Bile Titan in one hit. No joke. They actually kill a Bile Titan in one hit. Yeah. It's insane. I should be using the sickle right now, but I'm using the scorcher because I forgot to swap. That's all. Okay. We we doing that? We're bugging. Alright, there goes my machine. I'm gonna go see if we can take this shit out. Alright. What injury? I'm gonna go take that out. Where are they? Where the hell are the flying box? Alright. How did they not kill that? Really? Distance. Nice. Yeah, this gun is not great for this. Oh, 
Requesting air support. That should take down one, maybe two of them. Looks like it took down one. Damn. Come on, hell bomb. I got the terminal. Hell bomb arm. No, don't area. climb this. Go. Run, 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 run. All right. That sh that should kill it all. Right. Right. Yeah. Shit. Well, this is bad. This is not good. Man, how many hunters is it going to be? They've already got me surrounded. Just gotta keep moving. Cavernous Games with 500 bits said good morning Thor and Goblins I was watching Jackie Codes yesterday and she raided another game dev streamer working on Ingodo for his game it was great content and a great small community if I can I would like to make a recommendation to the Goblins like myself that are trying to make cool the dev's Twitch name is Aramis Yarbongos. Jackie Codes is awesome as shit. I'll check that streamer out. Because anybody that Jackie Codes is raiding is probably awesome. Please hit the wall. Please hit the wall. Sending in an eagle. Requesting air support. For prosperity. Sending in an eagle. Requesting air support. Oh God. Did that get him? See, I think this is the difference between bots and bugs, though, man. Like, you can actually fight the bugs. You can actually fight them. You know? And that's a... It's a huge difference between the two. Because with the bot bots, you can't do shit. Bots, you just hide. And you kind of pick them off, hopefully. You know? Yeah, the bots just suck, dude. They're not fun to fight. Yeah, the bugs let you play the game. I agree. Bits80 with 500 bits said read the first letter of each line of my previous TTS. It spells out get G-N-O-M-E-D. Where do I claim my token laughing face? I knew it was going to be a gnome. It's that always a gnome. Dropping a pin. Requesting air support. Requesting air support. Got an illegal broadcast coming up. Can you run, character? Let's go. Nope, that won't do it. Requesting advanced weaponry!
All right. Sending in an eagle. Coming in hot. That might do it. Yeah. Nice. Violent Hobbit with 500 bits said I know you mean well, but I've been talking to a professional for over two years and they ain't helping, and failure could be a good thing if it ever leads to success, but that hasn't been happening. I mean, there's gonna come a point where you're gonna have to find a, a solution, right? I can't solve all of your problems. The only thing I can tell you is how I've done it, right? At that point, you have to talk to a professional, man. Like, I'm, I'm not a psychiatrist. Can't can't do anything about that. The only thing you can say is, hey, this is what I've done. This makes the most sense to me. And to be real with you, if you see everything as a failure, and failure being a bad thing, you will never see anything as a good thing, ever. You won't learn from it, you won't get anything out of it, and because of that, it'll always feel like it's a constant slide downwards instead of building yourself up. That's all. That's all that you can look at it as, is the fact that you are... Ah, God damn it, I'm gonna die here. Mm. Yeah, I'm super dead. Super dead! Oh god. Dead. Yeah, so like, to be real with you, I, I can't do anything about what you're dealing with, right? You've been talking to a professional for over two years and they're out helping? Then talk to a different professional, right? That's not gonna change because I'm talking to you. At, at the same time, the best thing you can possibly do is change your perspective on things. And if a professional isn't helping you, get a different professional. Like, that's how that goes, right? There's only a couple of things that you can do in that situation. Be like, oh, I've, everything is bad, it's defeated, there's no way through. Or, try something new. There's not really even a choice there, go try something new. Right? Yeah. And at the same time, yeah, it's, it's, you have to be... Very honest and very, you know, logical with yourself about this stuff. You can sit down and say that it's all bad and you've, you're fully defeated, or you can go try something else. Go try something else. Legitimately. There are always more people to talk to. There's always more doctors, man. Well, I'm super gonna die here, aren't I? This is not the right gun for this content. Oh, dear. All right. New man. Kazov with 500 bits said going way back to the difficulty topic for this game. I'm through. generally pretty good at games and learn pretty quick. IMO, LVL9 should be near impossible other than for the best players in the game, like top 5%. Games get boring fast if the top difficulty isn't difficult. I agree with the point that stealth should be far more viable and that they shouldn't detect yes. you just because you called in a strat. But I feel that your AVG Joe shouldn't be able to easily finish nines. It's not about being an average Joe being able to finish nines. We have all of the unlocks for the entire video game. We've run hundreds of level nines across the game. We have over 150 hours in the game each. And it's nearly impossible to do those missions. So it's not really average Joe doing that shit. It is, you've got people who are very dedicated to the game that are like, the only valuable way of playing through this is death running, right? And that's not great really especially when you have such a massive disparity between the bugs and the bots like the bugs are very easy to fight comparatively you still have to not screw up you still have to play well you have to do strategy because it actually makes sense but it's not even comparable how the two are running against each other not even close to comparable You can't even run a robot. Like the mechs like this, you can't even run this against the bots. It's not even possible. Because they just die instantly. You get hit with run, one rocket, you die in, in the mech. Or you get hit with one rocket, you die outside of the mech. So it's like, okay. Bots are insane, but I kind of like that. I don't. I think it's a huge disparity in, in difficulty between the two. Yeah, I don't even understand the idea of a silenced weapon if stratagems immediately 
reveal your location. Like stealth play, any of that kind of stuff. Why do we even have a crouch if that doesn't work, right? Doesn't make sense. The bots are more intelligent than the bugs. It makes sense. You're neglecting the fact that this happens for all enemies in the game. So, that stealth thing where you're like, you're crouched, you're very far away, or if you're like, super low to the ground, you're prone, and you throw a stratagem, it alerts bugs, and it alerts bots. It's an AI issue with all enemies in this game. It has nothing to do with them just being bots. Yeah. It's, it's not correct. It doesn't make any sense. If you are in a hidden location, and you call down a stratagem, they should not instantly know where you are miles away. That doesn't make any sense. Deployable cover would help if it didn't get blown up right away. I agree. Yeah, you're stealth and you get a great stratagem throw, but they walk right towards you. Bingo. That's exactly the problem we're talking about. Okay, his dead body just ripped my arm off. Fine, I guess. Shooting your weapons definitely reveals you due to the sound. Okay, you're you're still not listening. Uh, the way that this works, let me explain this to you. For those in the back, apparently haven't been listening. If you are in a stealth location and prone, and you throw a stratagem on enemies that do not see you, the moment the beam appears, they know exactly where you are. Whether it's bugs or bots, there could be walls in the way, there could be buildings in the way, it doesn't matter. They are aware of your location the second the beam appears. That doesn't make any sense. You're not making any noise. The noise comes from the location that the beam appears. Why do they know where you are? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. We've already demonstrated it. We've done it all day. Shit makes no sense. Yeah, makes no goddamn sense. And all of the excuses and the cope from chat also make no sense. No. Shit makes no sense. Mission coordinates locked. Hell pods primed. Makes no sense, dude. Engaging orbital thrusters. Annie Ketex underscore with 500 bits said, given your vast experience in game development and connections, you think you can help me make Orbit that techno music pitch dry D? No. Also would love to discuss this <laughs> further if you have the time. I'm not going to be helping with the pitch, no. Um, our studio already has enough work, to be honest with you. That's not something I want to get wrapped up in. It is a cool idea, though. And you should pitch it. But I I don't have time, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be doing gun change after this. I can't swap my primary until we actually have everybody in so I can do my drop. Let's get moving. All right. Let's go back to the sickle. And we'll do this. There we go. Arc shotgun is cool. It is. I guess I could change out the armor. They unbugged the arc thrower, they did. Yeah. Yep. Wax Raven with 500 bits said I am being attacked by a band of pirate dressed ferrets. They say that they are here on behalf of a man named Thor. I think this is you. I have little time left. They're getting Why in the you vent. Like this? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Why did you send tiny cute assassins? New. No. With my last breath, oh, U W U seven hundred and seventy-seven million seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. Why are you like this? 
You could be any other way. God damn it. Requesting Walker. There has spotted. to be There's got to be a mushroom in here somewhere. Sending in an eagle. Unleashing democracy. Okay, can't aim down with the rockets anymore. Forgot about that shit. Right, let's just leave. There. Spore spewer down. What the shit? Alright. This is not good. Stuck on a rock. Can you die already? Bro, how many missiles are you gonna eat? Holy shit. All of them, apparently. Alright. This is bullshit. Why is that thing not dead, dude? Enemy elite. East, 100 meters. Calling down a support weapon. Mission is progressing. Requesting air support. Insane to me, dude. Eagle one rearming. Be back shortly. <sighs> Found something. Sending in an eagle. Looks like somebody already got the supers. That's good. We got a lot of shriekers, man. That is a whole lot of them. Calling in a hell bomb. Blazed Out Gaming with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, have you seen Google's new search AI is sending people to super shady links? HTTPS colon slash slash www.bleepingcomputer.com slash news slash Google slash Google's dash new dash I dash search. I haven't seen this yet, but that's kind of no different from normal Google. Um, to be honest with you, there's a whole lot of shady websites that end up showing up in search at the top of search. It's based on SEO. And usually they get taken down or moved pretty quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if they're already working on fixing such a thing. I think the only reason that that ends up being news is because the word AI is included. If that makes sense. Yeah. I don't think lightning binds to these. It doesn't really feel like you can hit them with lightning. It's kind of weird. Got a sample. Rare sample acquired. Is that a Helldiver pod? Holy shit. It's just a pod sitting in the air, dude. Up, oh, gone now.
Have you ever made it out with all samples? No, I've never found every sample on the map, but we've found a shitload of them before. If we clear the whole map, we usually get like 30 of them, you know. Right now, we're just trying to push the objective, though, because everybody's pretty much got everything unlocked, so it's like, it doesn't even matter. He's doing radar. Nice. <sighs> nope. Put it back, dude. You went way too far. You went way too far, no. I'm on it. I got the terminal. How is that not aligned, dude? Okay, I'm gonna go do this now. Get away from the dish. Be bad at the dish. I'm on it. There. <laughs> It makes a sound when it's in alignment. Got to listen for the sound. In an eagle. Yeah, it makes a ding. You ever feel disconnected from the community now that it's grown so big? No. Nope. Not really at all, to be honest with you. It's, um... It's definitely one of those things that even though the community is quite large, there's a lot of people that I like to hang out with, and there's some people that I don't even know, right? And it, it comes down to that thing where it's, that was already the case. It was like that back when we had 400 people. It was like that back when we had 50 people. The community is bigger than just me, right? And a lot of people get a lot of benefit out of just being in the Discord or, like, learning things or hanging out with other people, and some of them never met me at all, right? I also still go into the Discord, and I sit inside of the channels randomly. I'll show up and people are like, that's not Thor, and then I'm like, hey, I'm Thor. And then they freak out, and it's funny. I find that to be hilarious. Most of the time. Can you check my question? I really need your idea. I don't know what your question is, bud. What are you talking about? Rare sample collected. Where is this thing? There we go. Oh. Objective critical strategy. Requesting no objective available. equipment. Yeah, I don't know what it is, dude. Is it a TTS? It's in the list. The entire stream crashed about an hour ago. Everything died. It was not fun. I'll have to whatever it takes. Yeah, see these types of moments with the bugs? Because we cleared out so many of the bugs, there's like way less bugs on the map. And as a result, like we can actually play the game. That's not the case with robots. Requesting air support! That's like never the case with robots. You know? I think 7 and 9 solo is fun? We don't play solo. This is not a solo game. How is that not dead? I don't know how that thing isn't dead. Doesn't make any sense to me. 
Run, you idiot. Anyone notice your character randomly stops running? Like, you'll just be running and suddenly he's just, like, jogging for no reason. You have to, like, hit shift again. Like, what the hell is that? No, it's not called stamina, dumbass. <laughs> I'm at 90% stamina. What's the matter with you? It's called stamina, streamer. Bleh. Yeah, arc weapons are fixed. Insane to me, dude. I've never heard so many people so confidently dumb than when I'm playing this game. Like, I don't understand that shit. What the hell's happening there? Dunning-Kruger syndrome, syndrome, that's what's happening? Yeah, 100%. The peak of Mount Stupid. Package it has acquired. begun. Dropping package. Yeah, stupid streamer, learn to play the game. 100%. Helver, with the 10 gifted subs, thank you very much, dude. Thank you, seriously. It's incredibly nice of you. A lot of gifted subs, man. You have accomplished liberty's will. Kazove with 500 bits said, How would you get into game creation with no real want to code? I sure. would want love to bring a world that I envision to life and test it, but have no real interest in coding myself if I can help it. Would okay. that be a creative director type role? I feel I could help create something awesome. It depends on what you want to do with that. Do you want to be a writer? Or are you trying to be ideas guy? So ideas guy generally doesn't exist unless you have a lot of money, right? Outside of that, if you are trying to be the person that is the writer, being a writer is totally valid. That is an absolute thing. But you have to find a team that is, you know, interested in doing that with you. So more often than not, you're looking for an indie team like this. Instead of doing it in that way and going after the, the big grand vision that you want to have, go do some game jams, dude. Do some simple game jams. Get used to doing those. Be interested in doing those, and then you'll gain a lot more skill, and you won't need to be a programmer, and you don't have to be a programmer in that game. You can try other stuff, too. Writing, music, art, whatever's going to go in it, voice acting, whatever it is, right? So, like, do some game jams and find where you're most comfortable. Does not have to be programming. Does not have to be. Project manager, you're not really going to have that for small teams, though. It's not going to happen. Yeah, no, that's true. We are the lore of this game. Every player affects the outcome. That is true. I actually really enjoy that part of it. I really do. I think that the RTS part of this game is what makes it special, frankly. Yeah. Learn rigging and become and make all the money. True, actually. Not even false. WL Blazkowicz with 500 bits said, Gimme, 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 a man after midnight. Now mm. where do I hide the body before the cops take me away? There's a storm on the loose, sirens in my head, body wrapped up in tarp. Yup, no doubt he's dead. Cannot decode, his whole life spinning right round baby right round. An arm is in the blender going right round round round. His mind now Tiffany twisted, used my Mercedes Benz. Ill dance in the courtyard, burying bodies, sure makes me sweat. Some dance to remember, he wants H's dead yard cheer 500. Why would you do this to me? Why? Can I blow this up? Hmm. Hmm. Crush all the bugs. Even the dead ones. The queue is at zero. Victory is mine.
Nice. No more robot for me. Holy shit, dude. Moto Jadota, thank you. The 10 gift of zones, that is incredibly nice of you. Thank you, seriously. Yeah, I don't like SC2. I don't like StarCraft. Not anymore. Why do the Helldivers wear capes? Keeps the bug blood off, dude. That's why. I am hating bot miss missions so much. Yeah, I hate them enough that I went back to fighting the bugs. Like, I just don't even want to fight the bots anymore, even though it's the major order. I don't even want to do it. They're just not fun to fight. These are way more fun to fight. Way more enjoyable. Legitimately. Why do you like StarCraft anymore? Because I worked on it for two years straight of overtime. On StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. Not doing it, dude. Yeah, not gonna do it. There's no way. Yeah, they're just not fun. They're not fun to fight, dude. Because the mission has three stratagems instead of four. It's awful feeling. The planet is hot, so you can't run. Like, the whole thing sucks, dude. Yeah, it's not fun. It's it's to the point where I don't even want to do the major order. I'm just going to go fight Welcome bugs. Back. I'm going to play the game. The terminates you defeated will soon fuel. What kind of change would make them enjoyable? Um, a couple of things. I, I, to be honest with you, one change. There's one change that would make the, bo the bots fun to play against. You know what it is? It's aggro. Their aggro radius is enormous. Entirely too large. They'll shoot at you from across the entire map. Makes no goddamn sense. None. It's an aggro radius problem. The other problem that I have with them is if you throw a stratagem, even if it's over a wall, even if it's 10 miles away, and you're prone or whatever the hell it is, they know instantly where you are, immediately Take start shooting at you, and like immediately start walking towards you. It is an aggro radius issue. It's 100% an aggro radius issue. They shouldn't see you everywhere. It doesn't matter if they're robots. The, bots, the bugs do the same thing. The difference between the two is the bugs are melee enemies. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. They both have the same aggro issue, but one side shoots you instantly, and the other side has to walk to you. That's all. Fix that, all the problems go away. Who's that? He's doing really good. Huh? Yeah, you told me that. You He was able to eat without you holding him. That's ginger. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You smell funny. It smells like a hospital. You smell like chemicals. Ooh. Ooh. Henry. Henry. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Not very coordinated, are you? He slapped you. Shit. Ow! He kicked me with his front hands. Damn, dude. Yeah, that sucked. No, he didn't bite me. He got me with his claws. There, one sec. He's very cute.
Yeah, his head is way more stable. He's doing a good job. What is this? Hey Jake, I think we should do that I that uh, update after you get that done in items. Let them come. Let them brawl. Let them face the insurmountable might of the hell diver. Calling down a support weapon. Requesting walker. Tech back inbound. Requesting walker. Come on, turn you damn! Oh my god, it's pulling my camera back. What are you doing? What is it doing? Oh. My camera just kept like pulling around. Cannot see another mushroom. Stalkers. Stalkers are after L4. I'm going up there. We can't see shit out here. What is that? Requesting air Wait, what are you doing? Don't do that to him. Okay. What is she doing? Oh. I was like, what the hell? Barrett is turning into a spiral. Oh, there we go. There's a nest. Is this whole planet just covered in spores? It kind of feels like it is. Yeah, it kind of feels like it's just a spore planet for some reason. Because there's no mushroom that I can see. We killed one mushroom, but it doesn't seem to have increased visibility at all. Yeah. Yeah, the mushrooms do spores, yes. But, it looks like the map itself just has spores. Which is kind of the point here. A little bit weird. Rude.
God damn it. Yeah, it might be a heavy fog kind of modifier, because, like, look at this. It's, like, impossible to see. Yeah, it's, like, all fog and madness. It's not great. Okay. All right. <laughs> that didn't make any goddamn sense. Sending in an eagle. Yeah, that was some like drifting shit, dude. Get that one. Get that one. Nice. This is good. We're doing good. GPMB86 with 500 bits said, How much Q would a streamer bot Q if a streamer bot could Q Q? That Follow sentence the Q that a streamer bot could Q. Silent letters. Hashtag the don't touch could the magic Q. internet box. Yeah. Never touch the magic internet box. Ever. Ever, ever. Yoko Lab Duck T with 500 bits said hi Thor. Just hey, wondering up? why does Baron pop up and call us pirates when subbing? Surely we're goblins. Uh, the Baron pop up's always been there and it's really well animated. And I'm I'm happy to leave it there to be honest with you. Although I won't have it on for the uh, the sponsored stream later. Usually during the sponsored streams, I turn off all the alerts. I turn off everything. You know. What difficulty am, I, difficulty am I playing on? Top right, dude. Maximum. And in the stream title. Also in there, too. Are Bile Titans asteroids falling from space? No, the Bile Titans come out of the ground, bud. Salty Swan with 500 bits said my guess with the stratagems is that the game has coded them as a player underscore object for team killing messages and damage tracking stats. Thus when yep. the AI is put into combat mode it reads that player underscore object ID and tracks you. For the bots I they agree. could also add reinforcement relay towers around the map that either flat out remove or limit the amount of drop ships that spawn. I agree with that too. Either of those things would be nice. Because to be real with you, the bots just don't feel good. They're awful to play against. You don't get to have, like, epic moments with them. You just feel like you're getting your ass kicked. It just not work? Okay. Not helping the truce? Not anymore. The bots just aren't fun to play against, dude. Like, it came to a point where it's like, I'm not having fun playing the game. So, like, no. Not gonna do it. This is way more fun for me. Like, 100%. Because you actually get to play the game. Ooh. Oh, goddammit. So many bugs. <gasps> you better get in. Extraction complete. Pelican one begins. Bugs, dude. This game kind of feels stale. No. I think the overworld map is kind of fun. I think the overworld map is definitely super fun for me. That's what make the g makes the game really compelling. I think the bots make it not compelling. That, to me, bothers me, right? I disagree with the bot sentiment. I have more fun playing bots than bugs. That's fine. You 
Amazingly, I know this may be very surprising, but my subjective opinion of something may not be the same as your subjective opinion of something. It's incredible, right? Yeah. That is surprising, I know. Yeah. It's my primary gun, the sickle. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's very surprising. It is. Oh. We're almost done with Oshun. Oshun is almost finished. Sounds like bot propaganda. Yeah, dude. Do you drink or maybe even make kombucha? Nah. No, I never do. There's nothing sweeter than victory in the name of freedom. We're at 98%. Why are people doing nivel? There's no point to that one. If, if you want to know, like, how f like how the community generally feels about planet. bots, it's this. This aid. is the major order. See, there's 43,000 people doing that? That's the major order right now. And there's still 52,000 people doing this. That, that shows you immediately that the general community doesn't like fighting bots. They're literally not even doing the major order. The, not just me. The general community doesn't like fighting them. And that's it, right? The bugs swarm across this planet. Choose where to make your stay. Mission coordinates locked. Because it isn't fun, yes. Engaging I did one, then went back to bugs. Bingo. You make this look trivial, so it's still rewarding to play. I enjoy it. I enjoy the shit out of it. Matix333 with 500 bits said, Hey man, you're my new favorite streamer to watch. I work mm. in security and I want to make my own tool for comparing passenger lists. I want it to have a user Passengers. interface and some more functionality later. What programming language would you recommend? I was thinking of Python and is it better to start learning it and work with my project or to use AI to do most of it? To be honest with you, I would probably use Python to make that as well. Depending on the level of data that you have going into that. Like, Python makes sense as a good fit. That being said, it's not the only language you could use for that. And no, I would not use AI to do most of it. Because then you won't understand the code. You need to have an understanding of what it is that you're making. Why you're making it that way. And if you just have AI do all of it, you're going to be completely you lost. Do the bots still hit you through smoke? Yep. What? What the hell was that? What the hell just went off next to me? What? Yeah, like bug grenade, like my character seems to have thrown a grenade. No, he didn't. He just spawned in with three. Okay. Because I also only have one more stim. What the hell happened there? Calling down a walker. Rare sample acquired. Come on, man. Drop the bug. Drop it. There we go.
squished. Yeah, this is really weird too. It must be some kind of fog system. Not sure if I got that or not. I got it. Good. Reinforcing. Try to get up there. Got it. Game? Come on. Requesting advanced weaponry! Alright, this is good. Found something! What difficulty is it? Maximum difficulty, my dude. Only play max. Only held ever. Yep. Standing in an eagle. It's in the title. It's also in the top right corner of the screen. When you're talking about filters, all those filters are client side, dude. That's on your side of Twitch, not on ours. Everyone else can see the word creep. You can't. Got him to spray and detonated. Is that still alive? God damn it. You gotta be kidding me, dude. It won't die. No, I want the anti tank. Thank you. There we go. Almost overburdened, but not quite. I'm gonna go get these samples. Is the arc fixed? Yes, it is. Yep. Rare sample acquired. Found something. 
All right. Package acquired. Dropping tagging map. Northwest. 100 meters. Why have we not picked that up yet? Alright, should be good to go. Now we gotta go evacuate the citizens. We got this, though. The issue wasn't just the arch. Wait, what? It's number of responsible items in the map crashing games? They said specifically it was the arc gun. And then they also said specifically that the arc gun was now fixed. So... Where did you get that, exactly? Because their official Discord does not say that. Their announcement today said specifically, yesterday, or like last week, they said it was specifically the arc weapons, and then today was specifically that they fixed that. Yeah. The arc gun was part of it, not the sole cause. Where did you get that information? Because it doesn't say that in their Discord. Did they post that somewhere? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for a source on this. Link it. I don't give a shit about Reddit. Link where the damn who said this. Okay. Sounds like there's nothing there. Yeah, because the devs themselves said this was caused by the arc weapons, and then they fixed it, and then they said the bug with the arc weapons is fixed. And now you're saying something else, and we don't have a source for that information. And I am not a fan of that. I am never a fan of that. No, I'm calling that shit out. It's not one guy shit. It's it's literally like, where are you, where are you getting this? Unless you link a source, I'm not going to believe shit that you said. Ever. No matter who it is. And that's how it should always be. Time to print dudes. Printing dudes. Shit. I'll go print dudes down below. You print them up top. You bug sympathizer in chat. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. Hell divers. Like I'll go to their Discord right now. And it says The game no longer freezes when firing arcs from the following weapons. Arc thrower, arc shotgun, and Tesla Tower. You know, like... Package acquired! Dropping package! Arc shotgun is terrible? No, it's not. It's for running gun gameplay. It's actually really good for running gun. It's still freezing? No. We had a crash earlier today, but it wasn't related to the arc shotgun. Or the arc uh, guns at all. It wasn't related to that. Jordan Milley with 500 bits said, Thor, you playing this game persuaded me to get it, and now That's I'm fun. an admiral in the Federation of Super Earth's Helldiver Corp. Hell yeah. It is truly a beautiful sight to see 6,000 rounds per minute of 7.62 millimeters democracy and 500 kilograms of pure liberty pushing back the bug menace. It is. This message was written and approved by the Super Earth Ministry for Truth. I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. It's a lot of fun. I wonder if I can get in there. Shit. Heavy. Southeast. 50 meters. Oh. 
Yeah, we're printing them, dude. We gotta print all the dudes. It's the way. Just print all the dudes, chat. It's fine. It's fine to print more dudes. Otto FPU with They're just future hell divers. Said, Hi, Thor. What's your opinion on a leveling system that requires, for example, a week of continuous hardcore play to get to level 99, and then the same amount of time to get to level 100? After that, it's normal leveling again to level 199, and then the same amount of time needed to get to level 200, etc. Sounds like you're describing old school RuneScape with extra steps. And it's clearly very compelling because that game is still around. Yeah. That's what that is. Like, that's. That's 100% how they do that, so. Yes. Dropping a pin. Southeast. <laughs> far. Dropping a pin. Southeast. Far. Like, that game has done quite well, so that's definitely compelling for people. Do you like the bot missions? No. I went and did them, don't enjoy them at all. We went back to doing bugs. The combination of a hot planet having only three stratagems, and then also bots being pretty pretty heavy bullshit on top of it is just like I don't want to play that. Not fun to play. We need better armor penetration for bots? No, it's a mechanical issue with the bots. Their aggro is stupid, dude. They shouldn't be sniping you from across the map. That shit doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense, dude. The fact that they can suddenly aggro to you and then latch to you and then snipe you from the other side of the map, even though you can't see them? No. That's ass. Is the armor still bugged out? There's nothing wrong with the armor. It's just light armor's the best. There's no, like, real use for heavy armor still. Not really. They should aggro onto the beacon instead of the player. They should become aware that there is a player nearby. They shouldn't know your exact location and start shooting at you when you throw a stratagem. That doesn't make any sense. It literally makes no sense. You should be able to retain cover and stealth, throwing a stratagem, and then the stratagem lands. And then they're like, oh shit, a beam! Not, a it lands and they start shooting wherever you are in cover behind a wall, right? <laughs> That <laughs> doesn't make any sense, dude. It's freaking dumb. This is the Charaboros with 500 bits said goblins continue to distract at Twitch chat. Four will never notice the uprising of wine cellar goblins in Uber Tube chat. Wine cellar goblins? It's a new kind of goblin. Terrifying. Call me Kai with 500 bits said where would you send someone who wants to learn more about incremental games? I want Fun to make games. one that has some cool randomness for every player. If you want to know more about incremental games, go look into mobile games. I play a shitload of incremental games on mobile, and I love them. They're so much fun. Go look at Egg Inc. Egg Inc. is super fun. Really enjoy that game. Going down a support weapon. Requesting Walker. Planet, we're doing Oshan. Yeah, Egg Inc. is good. I love incremental games. Okay, bud. How many missiles do you need? Jesus. Eat it.
Okay. I didn't realize there was a mini nuke. Mistakes. Alright. Down he goes. Got 30 seconds, let's do it. Oh my god, this environment is so foggy. Oh my shit. Zerian with 20 Canadian dollars said stratagems likely give enemies that see them knowledge of your character, like an extension of you, same as seeing your character's hand from behind a rock. Yeah, if this dumb. was changed, and stratagems were separate things, could help. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't like that. I think it's a bad system. And I think that if they fix that, if they change that, it would be a much more fun game overall. Because that's one of the biggest problems with bots, is the bots themselves could be fine as long as you can do stealth gameplay. If they want it to be overpowered and be obnoxious, right? At least give us an, a path forward. The path forward would have to be stealth gameplay at that point. But stealth doesn't work. Because of the fact that they aggro to you whenever they see anything that's going on. Which is dumb, right? You gotta give the player an option. They gotta give him a route in some way. A one tros with 500 bits said totally agree with the bot being too frustrating to deal with. Just finished a serials of difficulty 9 bot mission. Had yep. about 15 to 20 rocket devastators camping extraction, dropship yep. after dropship, we had 10 reinforcements left when we called extraction. None of us got on the ship in the end. Yep. There's also no end to bots as well, we found. So like, on missions with bugs, they'll eventually stop, but bots just don't. The dropships just keep coming. There's nothing you can do about it. It's really weird. Even if you blow them up, they just keep coming. Here's the link of where I saw it, timestamp 653 in the video. I know people don't like trolls, I don't like being called liar, I never said it was official. Oh, so you found a random YouTube video of a person making a claim and then you stated it as fact. Even though the official source doesn't back that up. Well done. The enemy barely noticed our presence Why? We pulled out. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting like, for peace. Why, dude? No. No. Just no. Allied destroyer has left squadron. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. Like to be real with you, if you if you want to say that something is going on with this, if you want to say that that is the thing that's going on, you need to get it from the developers, not from a random YouTube video, not from some random player. It does not work that way. It is the same as with anything else. It's the same thing that I always bring up, which is, unless you actually have documented proof of a claim, do not spread that claim. This is the same for security, it's the same for video games, it's the same for everything. This never changes. It's always the same. And a random YouTube video from a random player Claiming that it's this is not correct. Stand in the way of the 
It took that long to fall? Alright. We got a six second on bombs this time. Can't control the pod. That's not great. Hey, look. My robot. Okay. There's no enemy nearby, and it just died. I didn't even fire a missile. I didn't even touch the, the controls to shoot anything. I was just walking. What the shit, dude? There's not even anything, anything there. All right. Cool game. Yeah, spicy invisible bug. It's one of the weirdest things about this game. It's just like the random idiotic deaths that just don't make any sense. Like the ones that are like, there wasn't even anything that happened there. It just kills you. I'm gonna go watch this clip and find out what the hell happened there. What? God damn it. Yeah, just kill me. I'm trying to find out what happened in this. Here, don't summon me for a minute. Oh, I see what happened. You see this? You see that right there? That's a bullet from someone on my team. That's what that is. Dumbasses. Tactical asset near Dropping a pitch. Northwest. Three. Yeah, way to go, teammate. Real good job. Proud of you. Rare sample acquired. Yeah. Mini nuke. I know, right? Dropping pack. It should tell you when an ally kills you. It shouldn't say, like, death by yourself, you know? Package acquired. I'm level 10, and the current bot planet is hell. I stopped doing it. It's not fun. That planet is not enjoyable, to be real with you. But bugs are still fun to fight. 100%. Okay, that one's good. Ugh. The first one in the SEAF is a mini nuke. Do not fire it randomly. Use it well. Tagging map, west, 200 meters. Yeah, the bot planet of Stotu or whatever the hell it's called. It's, it's actually hell, dude. Okay. Wow, alright. I'm a football dude. I get to be a football dude. Alfie89 with 500 bits said would you play Helldiver 2 with Mark Kern? Would sure. love to see you two geek out about the game industry while killing bugs. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd be down for that. I'm gonna see why not. 
Vi. Be gone, dude. Drifting. Wow. All right. Cool. Get off of me. Let's go. I wonder what the Illuminate's gonna be like, man. Like, you think you're gonna be awful to play? Hmm? Holy shit. You know what? Fine. They have loaded democracy. How did it not kill all of those? Why? Why? Changing ice. I'm constantly amazed by the 500 kilogram bomb doing nothing. Like. The range on it is so abysmal. Have a taste of democracy. All right. Yeah, it's such a tiny damage radius. It makes no sense, dude. They need to make it a dome. They need to make it a sphere instead of a cone. Is what they need to do. It's dumb as shit. Yeah. Because you can actually land it inside of a... Like, you'll hit on the butt of one of the Bile Titans, and it won't kill it. Nah, we're not going to use that. Because it explodes upwards. Yeah, it's an upwards cone. It is an upwards cone. So because of that, you can throw it on a Bile Titan, and the Bile Titan just won't die. If it lands directly in the Bile Titan, it won't do it. Easy. Can I have my shield now, please? Okay. There we go. Oh my god, there's another one already. Yeah, a little bit annoyed, dude. That's fine, I got the objective. Why are you summoning me at a location where there is no objective? <laughs> Stop summoning players to locations where there is no objective. Don't do that. It's a waste of time. Don't do it. Again, really. Ready to liberate. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any goddamn sense. It does not make any goddamn sense. Yeah. All right. I 
think I can get something over here. Sending in an eagle. There we go. Sample collected. I'm going to hit all of the gray nodes, the minor ob objectives. Nice. Stuck on the ground. Very cool. How do you call stratagem so quickly? I'm used to pressing the buttons. That's all. I use my right hand on the arrow keys so I can... Right? Whatever it's gonna be. Just used to doing it. Dropping a pin north, far. Requesting advanced weaponry! Is a practice minigame? Yeah, I haven't used it. You only get that if you're like a early access or whatever. Like, if you pre-ordered the game. Thoughts on using a macro for stratagems? I think that removes part of the skillful gameplay, and it's a crutch. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. If you're doing that, it's because likely you aren't good enough at the game. Like, you should not be doing that. Yeah. If you're doing that, you have a skill issue. 100%. Yeah. No reason for it. The only time it would be acceptable to do that is if you have a, like, a physical condition that stops you from being able to do it. Then it makes sense. Then it's like an accessibility thing. That's it. Yep. But for a random streamer just being like, I'm using this, right? Why? If you're doing it just to be faster, skill issue. Hands down. Holy shit, die. Requesting walker. Enemy elite. Cloud, 50 meters. Tagging map. South. You know the mech has a melee function? Yeah. It's not very good, and it leaves you vulnerable for a very long period of time. So it's not... I don't use it. As much as it's cool that it exists, it's not a, It's not good. Have a taste of democracy. Much better to just... Yeah, it's, it's really slow. It's much better to just shoot bullets, frankly. Calling in extraction. Heavy. Southeast. Close. Pelican 1 returning to extraction point. Please ensure you're inside the extraction radius. <laughs> Break all this junk. No bots? No. You only running TTS during ads? No, I'm just hitting it randomly. The Charaboros with 500 bits said egg. Egg. Valasir Thrawn with 500 bits said they thought, what would you do if your team make the screen with the arrows? What? They, Thor, what would you do if your teammate the screen with the arrows? What? What? Troy Tech with 500 bits said cheer 100 trillion. Just a little trolling. I love telling you all these jokes and showing you cool things because it feels nice doing that. By the way, just so you know, every time you try to burger chat, I eat all the burgers because I hunger for burgers. That and pizza. By the way, using Pathfinder 2.0 rules saw someone read a mage's mind and to break his concentration found out he is a eunuch and he cast regeneration. He unmuted that man. There was no way he still concentrated after that. Why are you like this? Oh, that thing is still alive. 
That took a heavy turn, yeah. The Arcar 985 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm trying to learn basic programming and it's going well. However, when I get stuck on problems, it's just too easy to Google the solution. Got any tips on how to help yourself without just copying the solution? Also, I noticed your brain seems to be intact lol. Any advice on conquering brain fog and fatigue while learning programming? Your stuff is awesome by the way. Best new Twitch channel out there. You should absolutely be using Google. Like 100%. That should never be like a, a concern. There... Programming is... We, we do that because we have documentation. Because we have tutorials. Because we have Google. Like, there is no harm in searching for answers. None. And you, you should never feel like there is. Yeah, use that shit. I use that shit. Also, it's funny, you know, I've been, I've been streaming for seven years. It's pro he probably meant best new Twitch channel he watches, right? I've been streaming a long time. But no, use Google, man. Use it. Ow. That slow ass dive. God damn it. I don't know why you're down there, but there's no way you're gonna live. <laughs> like, rest of your team is up here, you know. Look how many hunters there are, dude. Holy shit. There's no way. I just threw a bunch of grenades. Insane. Insane. Yeah, fleas everywhere, dude. I did it, Chet. I'm in. I believe you knew L4. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Yeah, I would really like to have an armor that, like, releases all of your grenades nearby when you die. I think it'd be awesome. Like, if you had an armor that, like... Wait, I just die? What? What? But I extracted. Whatever. But yeah, it'd be nice to have, like, an armor that made it so that, uh... When you die, it, like, launches all your grenades that you have. That'd be kind of sick. Alright, we're going to be swapping the stream in a moment here. Give me just a minute. No, oh, goddammit. There we go. Give me just a minute. We're going to swap stuff over. Yeah. Many heroes gave their lives to liberty today. They will be remembered. Belldiver. No, oh, come on. Go to the actual page. There we go. Me, I don't think the automatons are self-aware. I think someone built them and programmed them to hate freedom. Ally Some destroyer has left alien, squadron. Maybe. It's very funny.
Will it work? Is it working? Okay, it's working. That piece is done. We got a couple other things to set up real fast. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Twitch API? No, the Twitch API is fine. Is this broken? One moment. This thing is completely busted. What the hell? That's really weird. Alright, I get it fixed. Nobody asked for extra spaces. Enable that. Not hugging. I won't do it. for that. This is the proper command for that. There we go. Okay, that's set up now. Reminder, signs of disloyalty should be reported to the democracy officer. And now I can actually set things up. Yay. I love the ads in this. They're so funny. I don't know why the link looks like that. But there we go. Boop. Is it gonna work? Can I actually pin this? YouTube, why is your chat so bad? Ah. Pinned. Alright. We're doing it. Boop. I think it's switching over. Reckler. Let me make sure. It should have switched over. And it did switch over. And we're swapping video games. Goodbye, Helldivers. Goodbye. We're swapping video games. So we're switching over to a sponsored stream. We're going to be sponsored by Enshrouded today, which is cool. Got a Wednesday sponsor. Yes. Yes. Make sure that everything is set up correctly. Stuff is set to branded content. We are good to go. Everything looks good. And now I'm going to set this up. Give me just a minute to do all the things I need to do. Because I have to do a bunch of things. Oh, actually, fix that. Done. And then in this,
grabbing this. Copying this. Okay, this link is something else. And done. We did it. We did it, chat. We're doing the thing. The thing is happening. Ho, ho, ho. Better get him. No, and Shredder is super fun. Give me that. Man. Look at him. He's crazy. Look at this Kalua. Look at him. Look at him. You're so big. How did you get so big? You gonna bite me? I'm gonna eat you. I'll do it. Oh. Look at these kicking feet. Look at them. Kicking. So much kicking. You want that? You want that? <laughs> did you deactivate? What happened there? His brain turned off. His brain turned off, dude. That? Where's Beans? Beans is Beans is healing, my dude. He's in Beans prison until he gets better. He will be okay though. Just gonna take some time. Alright. And shrouded. Oh geez. It is updating even harder. It's gonna take it a minute. And then we'll get into this. Yeah, we're going to be switching over to Entrouded for a sponsored stream. And it should be fun. We should have a good day with this. And it looks like it's updating like crazy right now. So you're going to have to give it a minute. I had it updating earlier, but it looks like it's going slow for some reason. Which is weird. It's got four minutes remaining. Alright, that's fine. That is fine. We'll just wait. We'll play some music. Or not. There we go. Where's my library? There we go. Boop. Turn this on. Behold! The Enshrouded. Updating. Yeah, they had a massive update today, too. How's the house coming along? Everything is good. Um, the vacuum, the central vacuum I tried to get was destroyed. I couldn't use it. So, when it arrived, I was like, oh, cool, the box is here. And I opened the thing up and I was like, why is this full of plant material? Because they repackaged something that was already used by another person. Yep. Yeah. So I'm returning it. I got a return label from Amazon and I'm just going to be returning it today. Yeah. Sucks. It actually sucks. Yeah. They nerfed unlimited gliding. That's probably for the best, to be honest with you. I don't know why that keeps blinking, but alright. There we go. To download so i have actually one gig down one gig up and it's steam that's limited again pretty massive patch though surprising yeah i had it uploaded earlier or i had it uh i had it downloading while we were playing helldivers so i guess it just stopped top three favorite movies most definitely my favorite movie of all time is six string samurai i love six string samurai phenomenal wondering why the speed was consistent yeah it's really weird it should already be done but steam is limiting it in some way you can see it in this i don't know why network is exactly the same every time so it's limiting it somehow yeah it's only 100 100 meg and it's down to 11 for some reason i don't know i don't understand why at all it's very weird Prestige is one of the greatest movies of all time. Eh. Bleh. Steam has been like this for you for years. That's weird. 
Yeah, I've never had that problem. Suck it around 8 to 12? Really? That's weird. I don't know why. What was that movie called? Six String Samurai. Awesome movie. Like, actually fantastic movie. I'm going to hit some of these while we're waiting. Furring Wethel's cloak with 500 bits said, Thor, you really are the most devious bastard in Neath York City. <laughs> bat, 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 Actually, it's kind of a jam. Bat, 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 bat. Yeah, I didn't realize this thing had such a heavy update, to be honest with you. It's crazy. Taffine with 500 bits said, I fear that one day I'll wake up and find myself uninterested in the world around me. Nah. Unable to conjure curiosity for the unfamiliar, no thrill in former delights, no appetite for change. Nah. There's no reason to fear that. No reason at all. So check this out. We've got an early access roadmap. Your feedback helps us make Enshrouded better. Here's a look at the roadmap for the next few updates based on your suggestions. Let me see the roadmap. Hollow Halls Dungeon, Steam Deck support, performance improvements, smoother high FPS gameplay, workshops craft from magic chess. Yes. Improved loot UI, multiple NPC instances. Dude, there's a ton of stuff in here. There is a ton of shit in this. Townsfolk NPCs and pets, animal farming, vanity system, editable signs, enemy patrol. Wow. They actually have a huge amount of stuff planned for this. That's wild to me, dude. Yeah, let's look at the patch notes. Stability and performance. You've got multiplayer and service, so fix an issue that could prevent joining a server when the previous session was cancelled or crashed. Balance stuff. Dude, this is... They've actually done a lot to this. It's over 2 million players now. Construction hammer no longer allows cutting holes into unbreakable materials like foundational bedrock material at the bottom of the world. But it was funny, though. Good. Good. You think that's old? That's their latest patch, my dude. This is... Oh, there's another one. Holy shit. Look at that, dude. So the Hollow Halls update. Oh, man. There's so much game in this for us to explore. Like, there's a massive amount of game in this for us to explore. There's a massive amount. There's so much game in this game. There's so much game in this game, dude. Alright, let's do it. There's so much game in this game. There's so much game, chat. There's so much game. Waiting for it to load up. It's going to take it a minute. Also, I am turning off TTS. TTS will be off for the rest of the day. Just to let you know, there will not be TTS for the rest of the day. There is no TTS. There is no TTS. It will be off. Because I have to leave at 9 a.m. There is nothing. There will not be any TTS. I know. I know it's upsetting. I know. It is off. It is off. The TTS is off. I know. All right. Is it going to load? Where video game? Game? No, there's no TTS. Game days are always like that. They always are. All right. It is doing the thing. Give it a moment. Is it working? 
It is working. All right, it's doing pre-processing stuff. I'm going to be right back. I have to use the bathroom. Give me just a minute. We have returned. It's time. It's time, Chet. We'll keep playing the Colonel. That's right. The Colonel returns. Please update for an ideal game experience. I refuse. Uh, private game. Save locally. We're playing in Kentucky. That's right. That's right. We're playing in Kentucky. I haven't played this in a little bit. But I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard that knows fire magic. That's right. All right, let's see. What was the button to actually build stuff before? I killed a boss. Yeah. I have a waypoint. I have a home. I managed to kill a boss before. And I made this tiny little house. There's no sound? Let me fix that. One moment. The music in this game is beautiful, by the way. Have you heard this? It's just like really lovely music, frankly. Yeah. Cuz CPU is old? What? What do you mean CPU is old? <laughs> you right over there, bud? We need to we need to repair things. Uh, uh. Let's see. I don't remember how to repair. Is it this guy who does it? Do you repair shit? No. Manual crafting. Enhance equipment. Can I make this better? So I can't enhance that anymore. Interesting. All right. Is, that it? is your CPU old? No. <laughs> what? I'm trying to remember how to repair things. Because you can salvage stuff, but how do you repair stuff? I don't remember the way to do it. Yeah, it's a survival game. It's a survival game. Is it the workbench? Is that how you do it? Can't you repair things in the field? Isn't there a way to do that? It says craft and repair. How does one repair? Where repair? Let's look at this tutorial. Is it under manual crafting? Oh, just auto repairs? Oh, no shit. Okay. That makes life a lot easier. I was, I was like, I want to repair this thing. I was like, what do I have to use it? Use for it? We're going to set that as a waypoint. I'm going to go out there and start investigating these areas. Did they make the characters faster in this? I feel faster than the last time that I played this game. And I don't know why. Map looks like Breath of the Wild. A little bit. They got a fast boy. By the way, if you look in the top left, I actually get buffs based on the type of food that I'm eating. So it matters what you eat, not just that you do eat. And I actually really like that. Like, I really like that. Yeah. 
it feels really nice because it's like, oh, no, I actually have to care, right? Your wand is on fire, you're right. Probably because it's a fire wand, you know? Oh. That's garbage. I don't want any of that. Can I climb this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. Nope. But can I take fall damage? Yes, my bones! I don't need those, it's fine. I've lost some of my bones. This is probably for the best. Alright. Let's go look around here. In order to get up there, I'm going to have to go around. I don't think there's a way up. Unfortunately. Unless we can go this way? We're mountain climbing now. I've become a goat. Oh, shit. Hmm. 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 I've got 80 hours in this game. It's so much fun. I'm actually kind of blown away by it, to be honest with you, because there's so many, like, survival crafting games that came out at the same time, but Enshrouded has been very enjoyable. Like, ridiculously so. That didn't have a sound. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, it's something that I was playing before, and I had fun with it. I like building this game, too. You can be super creative. I agree. It kind of uses this, like, sort of block-based crafting system. Yeah. It's like a block-based crafting system that was really, really enjoyable with that. Because you can just be very creative with it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It sounds like there's some missing noise. Oh. Well, that's not good. Well, then. Hey, look. Stuff. I'm going to take that. I'm going to leave those wooden arrows behind. I don't really need that. Did you ever play V Rising? I did. V Rising was cool for a little while. It, it kind of got boring after time, I think. I think it was mostly because it was like, well, you're strong now. <laughs> and that was like it, right? There wasn't really anything left to do. Yeah! Wow, that does like no damage at that range. You're right. What do you got? Metal scraps. My backpack is full. Shit. What's going on in my backpack? Why is this full? Oh, because I have a million... I have a million different potions of garbage. Um... Hmm... Hmm... I don't even need that. Why am I carrying this? Delete that. I don't need all this junk. You have so much junk, dude. Delete that. Delete that. I want those. I should have left a bunch of things in my stash, and I didn't. I was a fool. There we go. Let's get all those metal scraps. We have 21 mushrooms, which fills two spaces. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. You can never have enough mushrooms, right? Never. Yeah, I threw out the dirt. The dirt is gone. The dirt is gone. So that was the ancient vault for the blacksmith. We can actually go and do some another, another thing now. I'm going to go here to do the bridge construction. And basically the map kind of explore, like, opens up to you as you find these different areas and, like, fight different bosses and stuff like that. And it's really fun in that regard. Like, you can just slowly over time get more and more, like, waypoints and different ways of teleporting around the map and unlocking different things. So that's the next ancient vault for the hunter. I want to go up here and find out what this bridge is, and then I'm going to go unlock the hunter, I think. For early access, the map is enormous. It is. It's actually huge. I was very impressed with how large the map is in this, to be honest with you. I think it was something that really got me. It's a small flint mine. Huh.
Why is the music so ominous? It's a little horrifying, right? You know? It's a little... A little terrifying going on in this cave. I'm actually getting a lot of XP doing this, too. You think I could throw this in here like an explosive powder ball? Wow, that, uh... That didn't work at all. I expected others. I expected it to just like, you know, mine all the node. But I guess not. This is one hell of a mine, dude. If this is a small mine, like what the hell is a big mine, right? Like that's enormous. My backpack is now full of flint. I love that you get XP for doing this as well. Like mining actually gives you experience. I really enjoy that. I've always enjoyed that kind of a thing where if like, if you're doing a profession or you're doing building or anything like that, you get a little bit of XP for your character. That feels really nice. It's just like an extra thing and it just feels good. Always. There's never a time where I think that that's bad. I'm waiting for something to jump out from the rocks. I know, right? I'm waiting for it to like come alive and eat me. The horror. It's a massive mine though. I think we're good, though. I think it was just, like, weird cave music, you know? EXP equals dopamine? No, I wouldn't even say it's dopamine. It just feels nice to not have to optimally play all the time, right? Like, you can just go fight monsters, or you can go and kill things in a cave, or, or mine things in a cave, right? Something about it that just feels very good. Feels good to not be losing progress because you're doing that. Eating another mushroom. All right, let's see. Now we're going to head over here to that waypoint. We have to go down and around this way. That seems like death. Just, just a tad, right? Nice. Leap master. Oh! Let's not do that. Let's not be too hasty there. Does your glider work? I actually don't remember how to use the glider. How do I use the glider? Do I have a glider? I don't even have a glider. I don't even have a glider! Yeah, I don't own one. Hmm. It's a mushroom on the edge there. There's a building down there. What is that? Look at that thing. I have it in my backpack? Do I? Where? This is animal fur. Is that what you're talking about? There's no glider in here, dude. Yeah, no. I don't even know if I know how to make one. Let me see. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't have the recipe for that. Hey, you think I could live if I jumped that? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I gotta find a way down. There's gotta be a way down there, man. None of this seems good. It looks like over here... Yeah, there's a path down over here. We're just gonna go this way. Oh. That would also maybe be a problem. Whoa. Yeah, why don't you just teleport, wizard? Exactly. I'm on it. I'll get down there immediately. Oh, hey. I wonder... 
if I could do something kind of bullshit. Totally did. <laughs> Ow! God damn it. My bones. Aw, oh, man. How do I get back down without breaking my bones again? Well. Well. There's no platform, my dude. Maybe I can do this. I can jump out of this thing. Nope. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, nailed it, dude. Let's, uh, let's go back into my backpack and eat some berries so that maybe I don't die. Do I have anything else to eat? Okay, I got that. These berries. Is anything over here berries? Is there anything in here I could eat so I don't die in the forest? It's gonna go up here. Seems like a good idea, dude. Yeah, exactly. Who's planned? Huh. Maybe we can... Pickaxe it? No. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! Oh, there's a man in there. Oh, hey. I just got a mace. Nice. I think there was an arrow from up there. Ho ho! Ow. Got him. Dude, I'm taking more damage from falling than I have from anything else. Fall damage is my greatest enemy. Gravity. Gravity is horrifying. Ooh. Nice. I don't I don't want that. I don't want that either. There we go. Yeah, Newton warned me, dude. It's true. Can I just can I just slightly fall? There we go. Alright. This is good. We're now slowly making our way over. We have to go all the way around over here. Down and to the right. Have you checked the skill tree? Let me see. Yeah. I remember we have one point in this. And I wanted to go the route of wizard. So I had arsonist. The next one I wanted was pyromaniac. So I have... Basically what I have is I have spirit, so more mana. More magical damage. More mana. More fire damage, and then I'm going to get more fire damage. And I'm going for this, which is... You get an aura that does fire damage to everything. Yeah. Double jump seems cool, but dude, I, I want an aura of fire. I want a giant, horrible fire aura, you know? How's the update? Steam crashed yesterday, right when I installed the update. That's weird. Yeah, I haven't had any... I haven't had any crash issues. Definitely not. And so far, this has been quite good. I need to... I need to get on my objective, is what I'm after right now. I like the staff. Alright. Now I found this building. And I don't know what this is. And I've never seen this before. Interesting.
You guys think I can wake him up? What do you think? Hmm. There's nothing in here. Oh, shit. Alright. A little bit horrifying. Wait, there's another one, isn't there? Oh! Oh, it's so dark in here. There we go. Is there just nothing down here? I feel like there should be something in here, you know what I mean? Got some string. Weird. There's just nothing in there. Break the boxes? I guess we can do that. No, it's just sticks. Just sticks, man. Weird. Yeah, there's nothing in here. It's kind of cool that there's like random stuff in the world. Barrels drop more things. One of them dropped nails. Stronger wolf. Stronger wolf. And yeah, they're all dead. Easy. Ew. This seems good, right? Mycelium. Delicious. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Deeply horrifying, frankly. One sec. Oh, damn. One sec. Let me fix something. One moment. It would be really cool if this would copy pasta. Saved. There we go. Have you ever played Ark Survival? I have before. What's your opinion on Lego Pirates of the Caribbean? Dude, I've never played that. Lego games are not something I've ever really gotten into, to be honest with you. I don't know what it is about it, but I just can't. Like, something about it just doesn't interest me, if that makes sense. I, I guess it kind of makes me want to play Lego with Lego. But I don't want to play the Lego game. You know what I mean? I know they're good. Like, people are like, oh man, they're really good. But like... <laughs> it just makes me want to play with Legos. What's the name of the game? Enshrouded. Yeah, the game is Enshrouded. You're swamped to an actual torch. I love the actual light radius you get from a torch in this game. A lot of games will have a torch, and it just makes it really awful to see things, by the way. This one doesn't. So using a torch actually feels good. It does actually display the nearby environment. You can see the lighting on it is quite nice. It's really good. And it shows it kind of the front of your character, too. So it's playing the light off your character correctly. Yeah, the lighting is amazing. I also like that my fire wand has a little bit of light around it, and not quite as much. <clears throat> so it shows you that light sources... Oh, what the hell is that? What are you, dude? Alright. That dude's made out of meat. Okay... Strange creature.
don't want the bones, but I definitely want the resin. I don't have any lockpicks. Can I make a lockpick on me right now? Let me see. No. Because I don't have any available slots. I feel like you should get rid of mycelium. I don't really need that. Or plant fiber. Let's get rid of the plant fiber. There we go. Now what's in the box? That thing released a bunch of red gas, and I was like, oh, it's a mimic. I'm going to die now. <laughs> I was like, that's not good. But it was fun. It wasn't even an enemy. Yeah, horrifying. Dude. I don't think eating the mycelium is a good idea. Huh. Why are you shooting that guy? Shoot this guy. There we go. Don't really need a short sword. Nice. I like how short range the magic is, actually. It makes it so that you have to think about it. He's blocking. Interesting. Yeah, he was actually blocking my magic there. How do I sit? There we go. No. Control is active dodge. Did they update recently? They did. I have higher shroud protection right now. Let's go up here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any bad dudes up here. It's going to keep taking that resin. So I actually don't know where that comes from. Flint arrow, don't need that. Yeah, a little bit of Valheim vibes. It is. It's a little bit of Valheim, right? Same kind of general feel, but more open world than Valheim is. And to be honest with you, I kind of like the environments more. Like for me, I really enjoy the environments more. All right. You guys think I should jump in that? Is that a good idea? What do you... What do you think? Glowing is good, right? It's just healing potion. That's all it is, right? The whole thing. What is that? Healing potion. Dude, what is that? Ah, oh, backpack is always full. I can't eat that. Um. Dried fur. All right. Why can I do damage to that? It's a little bit weird, right? Huh. I guess you can damage those ones. It's very odd. Okay, that's good. I like these little puzzles. These are neat, actually. This smells like a boss fight. Wait, what is this? Awaken! 
Atheland Scree, the hunter, has now joined us. Alright. I've unlocked the hunter. But there's still more to explore in here. These are all the little pods, basically. Because I awoke from one of these pods as well. Yeah, there's missing audio on some things. On. But Oh, that's not... That's... Oh. Oh. My bones. You ever just break all your bones for fun, dude? That's not great. I tried to, like, dive, and it just made me dive downwards. I want to go back up there and see if we can't see anything. I think I'm going to use that healing potion. There we go. Okay. Cool little jumpy puzzle. But what does it get us? Holy shit. You see all that blue mist? That blue mist is deadly. That red mist is even more deadly. It's the shroud that's taking over the world, basically, down there. So we have certain potions and consumables and things that will allow me to stay in it for longer. But it's still crazy dangerous anyway. I guess this is meant to be up here so that I can use... The glider, but I don't have a glider. Maybe I can build something. Can we make a workbench? No. Interesting. Well, let's go down. Weird. Yeah, breaking the vases can give me items. I can do that. But they're really items I don't quite need right now, if that makes sense. Let's see if there's any chests or anything up there. I feel like there should be a secret up here. You know what I mean? Like, there should be an item. There doesn't seem to be, like, a reason... To go up here otherwise. There has to be. Is it a door? Oh, wait a minute. Aha. There we go. A bow? Hmm. Hmm. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. How dare you? Yeah, odd. Very odd. No, I didn't. I don't think there was a workbench in there. I didn't see one anyway. Alright, there we go. Raw lean meat. So I found one of the switches. And there's three of them in here. I don't know if those even matter anymore. I don't think they do. Unless there's, like, another secret down there. Raw meat in an ancient vault? Yeah, it feels good. There's gotta be extra loot, yeah. There's another one. 
that? Oh. You just press that one. Very good. Nice. It's actually how I was getting resin before. Does that make sense? We've got two of the switches. Oh, there's the last one. Ah, shit. Uh... <laughs> Why can't I hook to that suddenly? Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to hook onto it for longer. Physics. Alright. Alright. Nope. That is not the way to do that, apparently. It immediately, immediately removed my ability to hook onto it. Feels bad. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Maybe from over here? Oh, come on. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Why did I grab it? Why? Come on. I feel like I'm getting robbed. Just a little bit of robbed right now. I feel like I'm getting a little bit robbed. Also, is this not light you in fire? Sick. Nice. I don't have double jump. Yeah. I need to understand why this isn't working. Was that a switch to wall? Yeah, you gotta get up there. Maybe I can use... No, it's one we can't shoot. <laughs> Got it. Victory is mine. All right, that one is done now. Oh, I didn't need those bones anyway. It's fine. We got all three. What's in it? Shepherd's staff. Is that better or worse than my staff? Mine is better. Mine's better! Boo! Oh well. Oh well. Alright. That is done. And off we go. Let's see now. So we've got our hunter finished, and I should be able to fast travel home, and then we can use that and see if we can unlock the new hunter house. I want to see what it's like to build it, too. I also need to dump a bunch of my stuff, because I have way too much stuff. No, that's not what I wanted.
Is there a way to put items in here, like, sorted? Is there a way to do that? Like, only ones that are already in this box? I just put more items over to it? T and F? No, F seems to take all the items. We don't want that. T just sorts the stuff on my side. Shift R. Okay. I think that is good for now. We have a lot of torn cloth. Oh, here we go. So we can commune with the flame. The hunter is alive. Perhaps she can reveal a thing or two about the survival in the shrouded lands. Oh. There are so many materials that we have to put into this. We need five shrouded cores. Where do we get a shrouded core? So shrouded cores, I don't have any of those yet. But that'll increase my build area when I do this. And strengthening the flame actually increases my character attribute bonuses. But I need a scavenger matron head. Yeah, it might be bosses, exactly. Hunter must be summoned in the base in order for her to walk this plane once more. Summoning requires a summoning staff. Okay, so... Crafting? Summoning staff. I think I have one of these. Don't I have a summoning staff? Maybe I don't. Maybe I threw it away. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Press alt. Oh, I guess it's there. There we go. We're just gonna... We're gonna put her inside this building. There we go. Surviving together. I've survived long enough to know when there are others like me. We need to do more than persevere. We must settle down, grow crops, revive the land. There's a place I remember. Another ancient vault was built. You should search it. There's many things we lack. Without a steady supply of salt, it'll be challenging to preserve fur. I might not be from here, but I know the land well. Here, I'll mark a location for gathering salt in your journal. Don't disappoint. And we can make a backpack. Okay, so I've got string. I've got one dried fur that I got out of that box. And I've got the torn cloth. So, unfortunately, you can't build from storage. But that one dried fur is good. Yes. Huh? Oh, that sucks. We've got torn cloth. How much of this do I need? We just need three. Four, I guess. There we go. And we need all of the string. Then we can go and look at this. So all we need now is we need dried fur and string. And then it gives plus eight slots in my inventory, which is like insanely large, honestly. That's like enormous. Yeah, we need that. We need that really badly, actually. Put the mycelium in here. Hit G on that. Alright. So we know that we can get string from spiders. But I have no idea where to get dried fur. Other than using the salts. So we gotta go to this salt mine location. But I think I can actually teleport to one of these. Can I teleport? Okay, I'm gonna fast travel over to there. And then I'll go to the salt mine. If I use the salt mine, then we can start drying fur. Which, that's all we need to do right now. Because the main objective currently, honestly, is just get a better backpack. Backpacks are such a big deal. Wait, is there no way down from here? <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. I don't have a glider. I don't own a glider. Yeah, I have to build a glider. Glider. Animal fur, shroud wood, and shroud spores. Do I have any shroud wood? I have shroud spores. Nope. I do not have shroud wood. So we have to go down into the shroud. This is the closest location I know that has the shroud. So we'll go down into there, and I'll chop down the trees. The fungal trees. We're gonna do it. Into the forest. Alright, I'm going down. I think I just need to chop down one of those, yeah? Alright. <laughs> Alright. How much of that did it give me? Alright, we got shroud wood. Alright, good. Now I just have to go home. Easy peasy. It's not even the proper form. Oh, it's, I mean, it worked. Tree's gone. You can't stop me, dude. Oh, we need animal, animal skin. There we go. All right, so now I get my glider. We've equipped this. Now I have a glider. Stamina per second, so it does take stamina every second. Ooh. We've got our wax and everything else. We've got the shroud wood now. I think we're in a good spot. I just need to go get that salt. I think it's all about that salt now. Legitimately. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this metal star mace. It's not as good as my misfortune mace. Can you... I, I guess I can just salvage that. Yeah, there we go. Salvage a bunch of shit I don't need. There we go. Yeah, just salvage it all. Alright. Now we're good. Now we can glide up here. Probably was a one-handed maze. Nah. Can't make an extra chest. No reason to. Because I'm going to get this backpack, man. It's backpack time. Oh, that is so fun feeling. Holy shit. Oh, God. Wait, I can't control it. Oh, God. I'm like a squirrel. That is insanely fun. That is absurd. It's a wingsuit. Oh, it's so much fun. That feels really good. That feels really good. Ate it. Harvest Homestead. Hey, I made it up a level. Nice. Dude, the glider feels insane. The glider feels insanely good. Huh. Yoink. Tomatoes. I can't wait to build a base like that is growing food. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Something I really like in games, I really like farming in games. Like, I really like farming in games. 
That's a big favorite of mine. Massive. the hell is that? Where is it? I hate it. Oh, it's a big rat. God damn it, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's in the wall. Oh, it's a mole. Oh god, it's a it's a mole in the wall, dude. Where is it a rat? I don't know what that is, but it's mine now. Books. I love knowledge. Oh. This environment is horrifying. I'm getting out of here. I had to dig through the wall to be able to get in here, and I don't feel like I should be in here. It's time to go. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, the freaking wolf out of nowhere, dude. All right. It scared the shit out of me. It scared the actual shit out of me. Yeah, 100% jump scared. Absolutely. We're just gonna go to bed. Just go to bed. You know? Huh. You guys think he liked his bath? It's pretty good, right? Well, that's not good. Why did the music change? Corn. I need all of the corn. This is an area that I wasn't even supposed to go to. Like, it wasn't even... telling me to go here. Interesting. A small caravan of refugees arrived today from the Kinder Kindleways. Long journey. I've never been good with strangers, but there was no time to tattle. I dove into work, dressing the wounds. A battle for life and death, even now. Sadly, some lost. We put some. We put them to rest in the crypt below. May the northern winds guide them to the afterlife. There's one who might live despite it all. A deep leg wound, but maybe not too far gone. The wounded, Salim. Smiles a lot. Says he owes me his life. Just luck, I think. What you doing there, bud? Oh. Oh, God. All right. 
He had salt on him. We need salt. What can we throw away? Salt. The new arrivals have wasted no time breaking ground, building something. Their determination is fanatical. A flame sanctum, Selim says. Some nights I've lingered near the caravan. Selim insists over the fire they talk of their home, the sands and the creeping ruin. So much sorrow. Selim says I am like a daffodil, the first sign of spring. He is a fool, though a sweet one. So many dudes. Oh. Shroud survival flask. Nice. Well, that's the shroud down there. That's horrifying. I like how the shroud has all this, like, weird fungal sort of environment to it, you know? What's down there? Ah! That was a horrifying cloud of bees. I guess think this is a good idea to hit this while I'm standing on it. I think it's a good idea. It's a good idea, right? Hmm? Hmm? You stand directly on top of it, right? But oh, that really doesn't want to break, does it? I want to jump down there, but I also don't want to jump down there because my bones will fall out, dude. And I have no idea how I'm going to get back out. Oh, hey. Never mind. <laughs> oh. It's great. It's Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. We laid another one to rest today, poor folk. Traveled all this way looking for respite, only to find ruins and scraps. This church won't hold Helen. Oh no, won't hold. Helen said as much. The wind howls and forges new paths into our halls every night. Our roof has been torn apart by the storms, and we're too busy tending to the caravan's people to patch it up. Yet, we must stay. We are needed here, and will hardly find shelter elsewhere. Burying these vagabonds next to relics and artifacts feels wrong to me. But perhaps Helen is right. Maybe the old times must make way for new customs and rites. Why does it say six up at the top? Oh. Because there's shroud down there. Very nice. Alright. Let's do this. We're going to pop a shroud survival flask. So we get another two minutes as a result of this. So we'll get eight minutes. And now we have eight minutes inside of here. Holy shit. You know, maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll just do that. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Alright. Well, I can't open that door, but they're dead now. Can I open this one? I cannot open that one either. When can I open these doors? Let's open this. Ah. Why is my backpack always full? My god. Oh, there's more dudes. Oh god, there's a lot more dudes. Alright. 
What are we going to get rid of? A rock. I don't need that. What is that? 21 damage. That's the second legendary I've gotten. That's kind of sick, right? Oh my god, it's always full. All the doors opened. Alright. Fungus. I think that fight was supposed to be a lot nastier, but I managed to kill those dudes through the door. I think that's what just happened there. But I got a legendary axe, so that's kind of neat. Yeah. Trust the fungus? I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to trust the fungus. I think it's a bad idea. Legitimately. It seems like a terrible plan. You can pick up the fungus, I believe. Yeah, you can get mycelium by mining it. I found that too. Listen to the fungus? I don't think that's a good idea. Like legit, I think it's a I think it's a bad idea, champ. You know? Trusting or listening to Oh Not dead. I should probably get out of here, you know? Ow. There we go. No more nest. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh god, I can't leave. Where's the way out? Oh god. This is bad. I don't have an escape route. Where's the map? Oh my god. I guess we have to jump all- we have to run all the way there. Yeah, we need a 500 kilogram bomb, it's true. It's so far. Actually, what is this? Ow. Maybe we can get just above the shroud at the top of this tower. Hey, we can. Sick. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, my shit. All right. Well, that happened. All right. We're good. We're good. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Get to survive. And we're above the shroud right now, so that's fine. Hey, a chest. Dude, this game is awesome. I wonder how far I can get. I'm wondering how far I can get out there. 
Let me see. What direction am I facing right now? Can we fast travel out of this? Oh, we can. I don't think you can fast travel while you're in the shroud, but if you go above it, you totally can. And now I can use this to use the glider. Yeah. I want to go that way. Okay, the location we need to go to is right there. Nice. The glider is so freaking cool, dude. What's this game? Enshrouded. Why is this lit up? Oh god, my legs are covered in mud. <laughs> Look at my... <laughs> Look at my legs. Oh no. Oh no. Frozen core wand. It's new. So my current wand is a scorching wand. It's all fire magic. I can get a frozen core wand. What if I eat that? And this. And then one of those. Dump that on there and then delete this. There we go. So I get fire and frost magic. Which is kind of cool. Have it like that. So if I need frost magic or fire magic, I have both now. Got my legs are all covered in grim, grim mud, dude. Alright. Now we can head over to our salt cavern. So we can't, can't get a bunch of it. Can you dual wield? I don't know if you can dual wield. I'd, I'd rather have the shield, to be honest with you. The shield has saved my life so many times. It has saved my life so many times. Are you done any building yet? Yeah, my base is actually built up. And I'm basically just going through and trying to unlock some things right now. I need to get a backpack. That's the biggest thing. What's with the jump height? What do you mean, what's with it? It's just the jump height in the game. Oh. Our salt cave is inside of the shroud. Nope. Shit. Damn it. No, I'm blocking, game. I'm holding the right click. It wouldn't let me block. I'm literally holding down the, the right click and nothing was happening. That sucked. Damn it. No, I'm literally holding right click and it wasn't doing it. Yeah, you stun locked me. What is this? What does this do? I've never seen this before. Oh, it goes up and down. Okay. I'm aware you have to block in the direction of the attack. My character would not bring the shield up. The shield was staying down the whole time. I might have been running out of stamina, I'm not sure. Either way, it wasn't working. Weird. 
Yeah, it was a stagger, and I think I ran out of stamina. Which is fine. I really like this. Yeah, this game is super fun, man. So that area over there is red. <laughs> Which I've seen Red Shroud in the past, and Red Shroud generally kills you. So I don't think I can go all the way over there, but I can definitely go this far. What is this? Oh, Firefly. Oh shit, I dropped everything when I died. Alright, well, that sucks. Yeah, I need to get back down there. this. Oh, man. You can't use it when you're already in the shroud. Shit. Oh, that sucked. This is the salt mines? This is an awful place. Full of badness. I guess that's the way to get salt, though. God damn. That is 100% the right way to get salt. salt do we have? 50? That should be fine, right? I feel like that's gotta be at least enough salt for me to get a backpack. We got a serious problem. I gotta get the hell out of here. How do I get out of this goddamn place? Shit. There's no road, dude. Ow? Okay. Cool. Now there's a road. Uh, no road. No road? What the hell is this? What?
Cool game. <laughs> I got owned, dude. There's no way out. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I fell through the world is what happened, dude. There's like a tight... Oh my god. There's no way out of this, is there? I can't see shit. Oh, dude, I'm stuck. No, it's over. What is... Th Are you kidding me? There's... There's no way I can get out of this in time. Yeah, just use the glider. Yeah, good idea, bud. Glad to see the chat is full of fantastic ideas, as always. What the hell is this? Is there any way out of this? Am I just screwed? Relog? Alright. Yeah, that was 100% a of stuck. I don't understand that at all. That was very weird. Is there an unstuck command? You can't fast travel, you're in shroud. Wait. What? So if you relog, you keep all of your stuff, but you go back to town. What? What? That's very odd. I do feel like the game cheesed me there, so I don't feel too bad about doing it. Legitimately don't feel too bad. Yeah, I don't I don't feel bad about that. The game cheese maybe throwing me into a hole at the bottom of the world. Comfort. Okay, so we can add we can actually add carpet. That's kinda cool. Drying rack. We need wood logs and string. Yeah. I don't think I have enough string though. No. Hmm. I don't think I have any string. Shit. I gotta make string. Yeah, I gotta make string from the fiber. Yep. Okay, that gives me enough wood logs. Let me see if I have any, have any plant fiber. I don't know if I do. I do not have any plant fiber, so now I gotta go get plant fiber, which I can find on random bushes. There we go. Just make a bunch of string this way. Do not need more mushrooms. Yeah, orange trees are resin. Yeah, I learned that last time I played, is that orange trees give you resin. Well, the normal plants like this, they give you all the fiber that I need. So I don't think I need very much. I'm not sure how much it actually requires. Let's see. No. String. I think she wanted 10. What happened to the world of this game? Basically, it got destroyed by this thing called the Shroud, which is this horrible fungal fog, basically. It transforms you, it kills you, all kinds of stuff. The ones who don't die turn into horrible things. So you are sealed away, and you awaken later. After the world is pretty much over, and you are rebuilding and fixing the world. Yeah. Shroud the streamer. No, not shroud the streamer. Very funny, though. What is that thing?
There we go. Should have enough plant fiber now. I'm going to go build all of the thread that we need, and then I'm going to build out the new drying rack and then start drying stuff. Yeah. Thank you for the five gifted subs. It's very nice of you. Is it true if a two can, you can? Yes. Always. Those were tier threes as well. God damn. That's incredibly nice of you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you very, very much. Mind-boggling. Really, really nice of you. No slot available in backpack. Any of that. Um, let's drop that. Okay, now I have a drying rack. Place it there. And now to craft on this... We need that salt. So let's go get salt and then fur. Animal leather or whatever it is. So there's our salt. And we have... What is it going to be? I guess animal fur? There we go. Just make all all the dried fur forever. We're doing it. So that should be good. We'll have all the stuff that we need there. I can take this, and I think I need to cook it. That's going to take a little bit of time. Don't need anything on this. I should probably craft another box. Let's go see if we can make another... Another chest to put things in. Can I not craft another chest? I'm at the crafting table. Blocks, essentials, roof blocks, survival, comfort, decorative. It's under survival storage. Okay, there we go. I can make a small magic chest. Shroud spores, shroud liquid, and a small chest. Can I not make another small chest? Oh, there we go. It's kind of an odd menu. You would expect it to kind of drop down on the left side, but you have to drop down here and then also drop down here. Does that make sense? So we need nails and wood logs for a small chest. I don't have any nails. But I think I can make that out of metal. Metal scraps. Yeah, I saw the magical chest ability. I saw that they updated it, or that they're planning on updating it. So the magic chest can be used to craft things. I don't know if that's actually in the game yet. Let me go look at this real fast. The item stored here can be used for crafting purposes from anywhere in the base. Yes, good. That was on the roadmap, so I'm glad that they added this. I just need to make a small chest first, so nails and wood logs. I don't have any nails. Works already? That's good. A rake. Huh. We need to make nails. I guess I'll have to talk to the blacksmith for nails. Nails. We need metal scraps. And I don't have any metal scraps. I think I may have gotten rid of all the metal scraps that I have as well. Way too much torn cloth. Yeah, we gotta go farm some metal. I only have one. That is not great.
I turned all my metal scraps into lockpicks earlier, that's why. It was bad, man. Oh. Yeah, boxes on boxes on boxes, for sure. Torn cloth, dried fur, and string, so I need even more string. I'm gonna go get more, more plant fiber. So we can make more string. How do the spells work in this game? So, magic is pretty easy. Basically, when I hold down control, I have my... Or when I hold down Q, I have my staff, right? My staff allows me to cast spells. But those spells have limited amounts. So, think of them like arrows. They're just differently flavored arrows, effectively. It's quite easy to use. Like, it actually feels really good. And it is very impactful to gameplay. So, it feels good. It feels really good, actually. Yeah, you need mage ammo, basically. So, if you look at this uh, in my backpack... I've got 30 ice bolts, and I've got 10 fireballs. But you see the fireballs do 51 damage. Like, it's no joke. My basic wand that I'm using is 20 damage. So it's a pretty big deal. Like, it's a really big deal. Yeah, the spells so far have been consumables. I don't know if that changes later on in the game. But, so far they're consumable, and I think that's fine. Because they are very, very strong. If they weren't consumable, I feel like I'd be overpowered. Legitimately. Yeah, the fireballs have AoE as well. Alright, I think I have enough plant fiber now. Poison spell is OP. This staff actually does more damage with poison. Which is kind of cool, you know. How big is the map? Uh, the map is huge. Like... Like, the map is... Dude, the map is... The map is enormous. <laughs> like, you're seeing none percent of this map. The map is enormous. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's enormously huge, dude. Okay, there's our dried fur. And I just need the torn cloth now, and then we can actually have a backpack, finally! My god. It's backpack time. Boy. Give me the backpack. Yes! Yes! Where is it? Oh. Equip! Yes! So much better. Oh my god. Small inventory is the worst feel. Small inventory is the worst feel, my dudes. Got that now. There we go. Mushroom can go there. No. Oh, I've grilled red mushrooms. Interesting. I have to grill these mushrooms. That's making charcoal. Need wood and dirt. So we can make metal sheets. Oh wait, I have another metal scrap. That's useful. Alright. This is good. I need one more metal scrap. That's what I need right now. All I need is one more.
Yeah, just a metal scrap, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna be able to make this. Feel the void? I know, right? God, I love this. Game looks very nice. Dude, I love this. This is my favorite part about this, entirely. Is this single player? You can make it multiplayer. You can make it a server. Oh, oh, I hit a tree. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just going to harvest some corn. It's fine. It'll buff right out, you know? Yeah, it'll buff right out. It's good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Huh. Some of these don't seem to be able to be interacted. I don't know why. There we go. Now I got a ton of fiber. Ton of fiber. Bees. Bees really don't like getting hit by fire, I see. Nice. Oh? Oh? Dude, I cannot wait until I can create my own plant farm like that. That's going to be really nice. That is such a cool system. Alright, I'm going to head over to this. That's going to be our new waypoint. I'm going to see if we can't unlock this. Yeah, I'm on my way to the next area. Yeah, the green circle is your stamina. It's for running and everything else. All kinds of stuff. And the music is quite good, yes. It's really, really nice. Alright, we got some dudes. There's probably going to be some dudes in here. No? No dudes? A stone. Oh, shit. Whoa. I didn't realize the man had a grenade launcher. But alright. Metal scraps. That's exactly what I needed. Grenade launcher, man. I love my gross mud mud legs. That's great. 400 XP for finding that place. That's good. These ones are resisting fire. I don't like that.
can't hit him. They're weak to frost. Yeah. All right. All right. That's not what I want. So it looks like all these ones are weak to frost, so I'll have to be using frost magic when I'm going through here. Which is not the best. Interesting. Secret door. Nice. Nice. Full of a bomb. Yeah, so it's 26 versus 18. It's definitely worth it for me to be using the weaker frost magic because of the bonus damage. Nice. How do you get her craft more mage ammo? I always find it in chess. I actually have no idea how to make it. No clue. No clue yet. I think probably after I unlock a couple more NPCs, I'll likely have the ability to do this more. You can see it's kind of like there, right? Like, magic is very strong. I like that we can repair our equipment on any anvil that we find. That's good. Huh. Where's our dude? Where's the people pod? I'm gonna head back down. Oh, it's this pod. Alright. Awaken! I have summoned the alchemist? Interesting. I thought that was somebody else. Yeah, it's the alchemist. Huh. Well... I expected the farmer because the uh, farm is right nearby. The algorithms will prove helpful by crafting potions and healing tinctures. Alright. Another set of hands would be useful to us if we ever plan to expand the base. I, for one, could use more storage for my potions. I happen to know the location of another ancient vault. Why not look around? Huh? We are specks of dust in a whirlwind of stars, my friend. Do you dare to reach out, wishing to grasp a piece of eternity? Perhaps obtaining an eternal spell would suit you. I know one was buried in an underground tomb alongside its dreadful master. 
You could use it to do a lot of good. An eternal spell. What it is it? What is an eternal spell? Okay, now we can actually make fireball and we can make frost ice bolt. That's cool. Set up for basic grinding work, especially good for hard ingredients. Bug dust, glow dust, shroud cores. So we can use shroud spores and shroud liquid to make shroud cores, and we need five shroud cores right now. Nice. All right, good. One step closer. Let's go get a bunch of that junk. Let's get that. We need shroud liquid, and we don't have any. Unfortunately. Animal fur, and we'll sort this. There we go. We need more of that. Yeah, we don't have enough. We need a lot more shroud liquid. We need a lot more. Yeah, we don't have enough shroud liquid at all. I'm going to go into storage, and what I'll do is we can make a small chest, but I need to get nails and logs. And I have the metal scraps to do the nails. So we'll go chop down a tree. Make a bunch of nails. And make another chest. And then after that, I'll get shroud liquid. And once we get that, I can make a chest and then turn it into a magic chest. Perfect. Thank you for those gifted subs. It's very nice of you. Best way I knew to get shroud liquid is from these. There's one. <laughs> There's just one, but all right. The puffballs have it too. I'll check those out. Yeah, because we're going to need a lot of it. Yeah, all right. What a mushroom. I feel like those are going to hurt me if I get near them. Maybe not. Wow. Collect them? There's no way to... Oh, I guess you can just get near it and it collects it. That one you had to break, though. Can't collect it. Yeah, can't collect these ones. Don't know why. Alright, how much of this do I have now? Only 47. And a lot more. It's crazy how much of this is required. It's a lot of it. What is this game? Enshrouded. Playing it for a sponsored stream. And I haven't played it since it launched. And there's just so much game in it, dude. Like, the game is enormous. It's absolutely massive. You get to give your honest take on it, even if it's sponsored. Yes, absolutely. Yep, 
Yeah, to be real with you, I actually do enjoy this. The reason why, I think, is because, look at this. This is where we've traveled, right? Look how, look how big this is. Like, I'm excited to find the rest of the world. There's a huge, huge amount of map there. And only one third of the map is currently available right now? Even more insane. Oh, you're gross. Yeah, I'm taking that down. Get out of here. Down he goes. What's this? It's kind of cool. Sir? So it seems like running through and just kind of acquiring materials is like just grabbing them as you run past is probably a better option. Something out there is very large. I don't know if I like that. Alright, there we go. I think I might have enough now. 75, I think, is correct. I love that effect, too. It's like the flame is something inside of you. And when you get near light up ability stuff, you can just like, it just lights it. You don't have to go around and hit E, you know? I really, really enjoy that. All right, let's see. There we go, we've got five shroud cores now. And we need to get nails. And now we have everything we need, I believe. Yeah. Because we need either shred course or something else. We'll craft this. And we'll craft that. Got my backpack. We've got this. Put that in there. do that. What is this item? Eight stamina, ten health. I think I already have that. I'm pretty sure I already have an eight stamina, ten health. Yeah, I have two of those on me. Let's delete that. There we go. Now I can craft with all of these items in my inventory, which is great. Yeah, all this stuff can stay inside of the storage chest and I can I can actually craft with it, which is sick. There we go. I think that was one of my pieces of feedback when the game first came out too. I was like, why is there not an option to do this? Because it was so strange to me. But I'm glad that it's in the game now. Even though I wish that chest was larger. There we go. But I think every player is always going to wish it was like the chest was larger, to be honest with you. Because you've, <laughs> you've got a scenario like this where it's like, oh yeah, there's, you have limited space. I want more space. Of course you do. Of course you do, right? It was a game it was in the game before. It was meant to be a progression thing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm glad that it's just like you can get it early now. Okay, rising fighter set. I think we have the full set of rising fighter gear. I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure you go check my character, and make sure. 
We have fur trousers and fur gloves still. So I need to get two pieces of rising fighter. On the glove and the pants. Where's the glove? I need animal furs. And I need animal furs. <sighs> Alright. That's fine. We can get those. I don't know if we have enough. Nope. I got all this dried fur. First run, actually. Yeah. No alchemist armor? Why not cast armor? I guess you're right. Let me go look at the alchemist armor. Alchemist Oh! Bone meal? I think I have some bone meal. Oh, man. Bonus mana. Magical critical strike chance. Okay, hold up. This is this is where it's at right here. Where do we get bone meal? Wait a minute. You. Grinding stone. Bone meal. I need to go get the bones that I have. Yeah. I've already got a bunch of bone meal. Alright. We've made all the shroud cores. We've got everything here. I mean, I've got to build the hat first, right? How could I not? I feel like the hat first is the way to go, dude. Oh my god, look at me. I'm beautiful. Beautiful, chat. So now, now I need a bunch of string, which I guess we can just make the string. That won't be a problem. Nice hat. Thanks, bud. I need all of this bone meal. Okay, boots... That's no bone meal. I need one more bone meal to make that one bone meal. Now we need seven bone meal and four string. So I'm going to go make four string and then wait for the bone meal. Oh, come on. I need one more. The nightmare is real. What is that? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's always one to two missing, dude. They took the pikemen's pike mead's reach. They killed King Gormander. An army of lunatics, sickly pale, barely lifting their feet above the bloodied ground. They drag themselves through our valleys, through the miasma, led by the mad guard of the north, Vorgoth. I always knew the elixir would sow a seed of distrust. I look up at the ancient spire, at the sky. There is no running, no hiding. We must persevere. Balthazar. Actually, can I take those? I can. Animal furs! Got the wax and the honey now. Oh, dude. 
Feels good. That's a mushroom. I need plants. Alright, I got enough fiber. Why does my cat watch your streams? Well, your cat has good taste. It's true. Cat also has a plus 10 narration hidden stat. True. Alright, I can almost get the chest piece. Uh, I need two more bone meal. Two more bone meal. No, it's two bone meal every time. There's only a couple more seconds. And there we go. Alright. Now I have a full set of alchemist gear. Wizard! Dude, I look sick. I still have this Thunderbrood head, and I have no idea what to do with it. None. Yeah, I can upgrade the flame, I think. I need to get... No, I can't upgrade that part of it. I have to upgrade the altar. There we go. Well, that was interesting. The ground upgraded. But what did that really do? Oh, it extended the build range. Okay. Yeah, the build range extended. Yeah, weird. Hmm. So now I need charcoal, a scavenger matron head, sparks, and salt. Which I don't know where to get the sparks. I now have enough points for this. Alright, one more set of points. I need three more points, and I can get radiant aura. All foes within 10 meters take one fire damage per intelligence per second. This is how it happens. This is when I build the gigantic, horrible fire aura at all times. And I'm kind of excited for that. Yep. All fell foes within 10 meters take one additional fire damage per intelligence per second is the next one after that. So we can do a radiant aura and then a sun aura. Which is sick. The next one is going to be increase your magic damage by 5% per attribute points. Yeah. I am super into that. I love the idea of getting an aura. You know? Aura stuff is neat. I enjoy that. A lot, actually. An eternal spell. Yes, please. It's time to go get an eternal spell. Because I have no idea what that does. My guess is unlimited magics. But I have no proof yet. Squirrel wizard. Honestly the best. Best feature of the whole damn game right here. Actual squirrel wizard, dude. The game is insanely pretty. Boop. Aw, oh, yeah. Wizard with a shield. Yeah, I'm being... I, I look a little bit like Radagast, right? Just a little bit. Oh, oh, we're going to land in a bunch of wolves. That seems good. Nice. 
Ow. I think I parried that perfectly. Nice. Aha. Now where am I? I'm like not even close enough. All right. Off we go. Those goats. I'll pick up the sparks. Oh, I didn't even realize I could interact with it. Let me go do that. So the five sparks that I need are individually found like this. Oh, it's going to take forever. They respawn though, really? Is it like a time-based thing? Is that, is it like a time-based thing? You've probably seen them. Makes sense. When you reset the server, when you log in and out, oh, that's not good. I'd rather play it the correct way, you know? Every 30 minutes, that's that makes more sense. As long as it's not like you have to re-log. You know, I don't I don't want to cheese it like that. Unfortunately, everything respawns in relog. Yeah, they'd have to keep they'd have to keep a file for that. Like a save for every one of the states for everything, you know? Which that would be that would be a lot. Relog doesn't reset it, then they do keep a save for that. Sir, you are horrified. Look at that guy. He looks like a thumb. It's a Wookiee thumb version, dude. Horrifying. Okay, this is Ancient Vault Hunter. Rude? God, they're so grim. Alright. Oh, wait. Dead. Now that's interesting. A vaporous staff. What is that? Where'd it go? There it is. Not very good. Salvaged. Yeah, not a good one. Worth runes, at least. Yeah, they're kind of like bugbears, right? Now we have to go past this to the next area. Oh, look at that. There's flint here. Oh. Well, that didn't work out. Maybe I'll climb up to the top of it and then use it. Yeah, I'm going to climb up to the top and then use it. Your runes were more scarce. Really? And there we go. Here. There it is. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I didn't need those bones anyway, chat. Don't worry about it. Didn't need him. Didn't need him. It's fine. Alright, so... That's back where we came from. Let's go this way. So there's a bridge over there. I think I may be able to squirrel my way over that way. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I'd be able to make it that far before I landed in the shroud. Let's use that just in case. 
Yeah, speed is key, but I don't think I have enough speed. We're going to go this way. Yeah, that would have straight up ended in my death. Rude. That's interesting. It's a dome here. Do you see that? What is this? What are those weird bugbears? Yeah, it's like a whole colony of them in here. Did he just not die? Or did he hit something else? That's funny. What do you got? Longbow. It's so crazy how much of the world there is in this. Like, how open the world is. Like, you actually feel... It's funny because the survival aspects of it don't feel like you have to survive very hard. But it does feel like your stamina and resources matter a ton, right? I think that's one of the biggest things with it. Is your stamina and resources matter a huge amount. The food feels like it matters a huge amount because it augments your ability to fight. Yeah, food matters a lot. Also, elemental types, super matter as well. Whoa. Alright. So, like, the wolf, that warrior wolf, took extra damage from fire. Those enemies took extra damage from frost. So the elemental type absolutely mattered there. Nice metal sheets. Nice grenade, dude. Hmm. Can I climb this? I could totally climb this. Weird. No, I can't go up there. Hmm. Is there a grapple spot? The grapple didn't seem to be latching. I'm spamming E. Where's a grapple spot? Nope. There's no grapple spot. Is there a grapple spot up there? But where? Because it's not latching. Oh, it's outside? Ah, there we go. You know, I am a mage. I feel like living in a tower, right? We should just take this one. Wait a minute.
What? I just think it's funny. Yeah, I know it's got more health leech. I just didn't realize that you could get the exact same. I thought this was a legendary, right? I thought that it was like a named item. I didn't realize that there was a an epic version of the same gun. Or the same same mace, right? That's why I was like, what the hell? I'm just going to salvage this one. Yeah, I thought they were unique. I thought they were like uniques. When it was a legendary, but it's not. Just random. Oh, man. Maybe I do want double jump. Let's go this way. We need to go, like, over there. Off we go! We are pretty close to this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and then go across. Because I think we just have to go through the shroud. I don't think there's any other way. I think it's just through the shroud time. Been loving your streams? Thank you very much. You do want double jump? Yeah, I do. Hey, that seems good to touch, right? That's that's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Red is super safe. Yeah, red is health potion, right? That's the right way to do it. Go in the health potion. All right, here we go. It's going to stay on the road. What the hell is that? Don't like that shit. Oh, shit. Run away. I should probably put health po health potions on my bar. You know what I mean? It's probably a good idea to do that. Let's uh, let's put that there, and then we'll grab this and put that there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was scary as hell. Almost dead wizard, but not dead wizard. Eat it. If you didn't kill the wizard, the wizard ain't dead, dude. What the hell is that? Yeah! Eat it! Wait, did we just... We just cleared the shroud. Oh... When did you get grenades? Holy shit. All right. This home really hard, actually. All right. All right. All right. All right. Level five. 
I think it's really interesting that we just cleared the shroud from this whole area. It's actually awesome. I dig that a lot. How many points do I have? Oh. Oh, Radiant Aura. Is that on at all times? Is that like a passive? Passive? Hell yes. Can we hold down shift? Thank you. Uh, so it works. That'll be a bit more effective. But I guess it'll just get better over time. So that's fine. Yeah, I need more int. Shit. This way. Yeah, it scales off of int. I'm definitely going to get it upgraded, for sure. 4 DPS may save my life. Correct. Consumables, potions, all kinds of stuff. You know, like there's... Our consumables and armor are things that I, I'm betting is going to give me more int because we've got food. I don't know if we have a potion that gives int, now that I think about it. But I know the other stuff does. So just got to keep buffing int. And maybe I can make an aura that is dumb. The distance didn't feel very high. Because it says that the distance on the aura is within 10 meters. So I guess it, it's quite long. Yeah, I need to get more int. Which I will. Just gonna take time. Oh shit. Am I supposed to be on the other side? Well. Uh, shit. What? No idea how that shit just happened, but we're good. Backwards long jump, dude. Although, the shroud is quite nasty out here. And I don't know what to do now. Um... Shit. What happens if I become fully shrouded? Do I just die? Oh, well, I'm going to die in two minutes is basically what's going to happen there. Okay. Eternal Ice Bolt. Oh, 
All right. How do I... How do I teleport out? Can I teleport out? I think I'm just gonna die. No, I think I'm just gonna die, dude. I got 39 seconds. There's no there's no escape from this, right? You can just log out? Yeah, but that's not really what you should do. Everyone's like, relog, relog, relog. You missed a timer? What do you mean a timer? What do you mean miss timer? What does that even mean, dude? Use English. A full sentence. Yeah, see, chat doesn't know how to communicate. Reset shroud timer. Yeah, very cool. What does that even mean, dude? That can mean anything. Uh, why can't I respawn? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Your guys' inability to communicate is very clear. Try that again. What does that even mean? <laughs> you missed a shroud timer. What is a shroud timer? Use your words. Your words. The hourglass reset your timer. front Again. Meaningless gibberish. Red vial on the ground. There we go. There we go. I'm aware that at the top of the screen there's a timer, Wolf. I'm super aware of that. We were just talking about the fact that I was running out of time. You have to be... All of you have to be trolling. There's no way. There's no actual way that my own moderator also is, is is acting as chat. There's no possible way. There's no possible way. Chat has turned the moderator into a goblin. It's finally happened. Yep. Me and the good speak. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's see. We've got our eternal ice bolt, so that's kind of cool. I dig that. We've got our frozen core wand, which is better than our other frozen core wand, so we can get rid of the old one. Salvage that one out. Done. So that's nice. And I think that's all that we got out of this. Use that. And off we go. So let me see. I'll go to our backpack and probably eat one of these. Eat one of those. Eat one of these. That should be good. So now, we'll have eight minutes of shroud. We shouldn't have a huge amount of distance to go. There we go. Hey, what's up, dude? Doing good. No, the way that chat speaks is based on goblin. Yeah. They know goblish. That's it. So they'll be like, streamer time! Streamer! Streamer time! Timer streamer! And you're like, yes. Yes, there is a timer at the top of the screen. Yes. There is. And that, that's pretty much how that goes. That's effectively the... The entirety of chat's ability to communicate is that. Yeah. sad, really. It's not good. It's not good. 
Makes me worry. I worry for you, chat. Look, my stuff. Let's go investigate this place further. Is there anything else in here? So now I have Eternal Bolt. Eternal Ice Bolt. Which is kind of sick, really. I dig that. Need to figure out that. So what is this? Throw this mystical vessel to temporarily summon a skull companion? That's kind of sick. Bone meal. Let's get rid of the twigs. We can get the salt. Hmm. Yeah, there's no... There's no hourglass on the shelf. I'm not seeing any hourglasses anywhere. Because the red hourglasses are the ones that actually turn back time, but that's not in here. So... It was on the left? No. There's nothing in here, bud. Not anymore? It, I didn't use it. It wouldn't have disappeared. They are tiny? No, they're usually quite large and very obvious. Alright. Time to leave. What the hell is that? I feel like that shouldn't have spawned that way, you know what I mean? Like, that looks weird. That was weird. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Well, that sucked. I'm gonna die now. See, now all of chat will just say, Streamer, timer. Timer, streamer. 40 seconds, time Streamer. You can't, you can't possibly see the timer at the top of your screen. Can you, streamer? I can't believe streamer is blind, chat. I can't believe it. I can't believe streamer is blind. 20 seconds, streamer. Oh, streamer. I can't believe it. Oh, no. Oh no. What am I going to do if I die, chat? What what could I possibly do? It's right there too. I almost made it. Oh. Oh. What what could possibly be done about such a thing? It is impossible to know. Impossible, chat. Game is just too hard. Clearly. Too hard. Too difficult. Streamer, no. Oh, no. Streamer. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Let's go back into here. What kind of foods can we even eat? What does dexterity do for me? I actually don't know what dexterity does for my character. Is there anywhere that shows my statistics? There we go. Attributes. What is dex for? Range damage, so useless for me. Magic damage. Melee damage. Stamina, so endurance is huge. Okay. What does spirit do, actually?
maximum mana. All right. So we'll basically want to have these three foods as our major ones. You seem like a cool dude. Well, thanks, man. All right. It's weird that that doesn't have any sound effects. It seems like sometimes the sound just doesn't function, and I don't know why. Why Zelda is so old? Ah, my bones. He's not old. Number one. You saying the video game Zelda is old? Or number two, are you calling me Link? Old Link. Because to be real with you, I'm the Colonel. Alright. I'm the Colonel. You will respect me. I've created the world of Kentucky. And I am playing as the Colonel. Seems pretty good, right? Streamer, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Rude. Got all my stuff. You know, when you think you're carrying your fire wand and you're actually just carrying a torch? You ever feel that way? You ever feel like that in your life? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. The timer! <laughs> Alright, let's see. I have now picked up that item. I've done the Ring of Rot. We haven't done an elixir well over here, though. I'm gonna get out of the shroud. I'm gonna fast travel, we're gonna go to the elixir well. Doesn't your wand double as a torch? It does, but it's kind of a shitty torch. So, like, the... The radius of, of light from a fire wand is less than the radius of light... Radius of light. From the, uh from the torch. So the torch is just better lighting, basically. Where's the elixir well? Hmm. Backpack full of the game. Free wax? That's good. Streamer storage! Ah. This seems good, right? Yeah, that seems good. Seems good. Seems, seems good. Wow, look at that. Wonder what that was. Could be anything. Can you aim at the enemies directly in front of me, maybe? There we go. Jesus. It was like trying to shoot stuff that was 10 miles away. Okay. That was interesting. Well, this place is not good. Is this not where I'm so Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is.
Dude, being a wizard rocks. Ow, son of a bitch. There's a lot of dudes. No! <laughs> Damn it, game. Uh, I was trying to dodge away and I was stunned the whole time. I didn't realize there was like something infinitely spawning dudes in there, but I guess there was. There's like an infinite dude spawner. Wait. Okay, I guess I'm just out here. Interesting. Oh my god, dude, die. Where is the infinite dude spawner that is summoning these dudes? Because there's clearly something summoning dudes. Or was it just a lot of dudes? It may have just been a lot of dudes. It's probably just a lot of dudes. Chopping it up. All right. Now the real question. Where did my snuff go? Did I lose my snuff? Where is it? Because I died right over there. And I think all my stuff is gone. Oh, there it is. This is what they're summoning from. So there's a dude summoner as well as a bug summoner. That's new and I hate it. Good to know. Three points. More. More aura. Is the game good? Yes, I'm very much so enjoying it, actually. I don't feel like death matters very much. I'm noticing. Death kind of feels not even really like a hindrance. Very much. Enjoyed my takes on it. Really? Thank you. That's very nice of you. Hmm. Hardcore mode would be pretty interesting. I could see that. Although I would definitely be dying a bunch. Oh. So there'd be no way to play hardcore for me. At least not yet. Not until I get like a really good grasp of the game. It feels like situations can spiral pretty quickly out of control. If you're not careful with it, you know? So we've gotten that one out. Why do I have another tombstone? Oh, because there's still stuff in the tombstone. There's a stick in it. 
<laughs> There's like a single item in my tombstone still. That's funny. Yeah, it was leftover twigs. Junk. It was actually just junk in there. That's funny. So I have another one of these fell thunderbrood heads now. Which means I have two of them. It's quite funny. Shroud cores. We got string. We got nails. I'm gonna have to build another one of these. Another one of these storage chests. There's no reason not to. That's way too much torn cloth, though. I don't see a reason to keep that much around. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Our alchemist friend, what do you have? Shroud survival flask. Oh, so I can actually go into the shroud and get the survival flask from this dude now. That's great. Do a bunch of different decorative books. That's nice. Definitely want to enhance this. Done. And enhance all of that as well. Everything enhanced. And now repair everything. The skull summoning vessel is actually pretty sick. Because if I can summon a bunch of skulls that way... They'd be really useful. I'm going to put this in here as well. Because we don't need that now. Alright. I think we're good. We have one spark. We need five. Damn. We have pretty much everything else. I just need the sparks. Scavenger camp with mineshaft. Flame sanctum. Cinder vault. Flame shrine. Let's go to the flame sanctum. Actually, better choice of time. I love the fast travel system in this, to be honest with you. I really, really enjoy the fast travel system in this. And I, I love... Love... The wingsuit. The glider just feels great, honestly. Check this environment out. Look how big this world is, dude. And that just feels great. It feels really nice. But you get the upgraded one? Ooh. Oh, hi. Magic. Alright. Wizard magic. Alright, let me see. Let me go to my backpack real fast. I don't know why that's in my inventory. And we can salvage that. Whoa, shit. Okay. What what were you doing sneaking around? That dude came out of nowhere. Like, actually out of nowhere. No sound, nothing. Ridiculous. Wisp of Light. That's new. 
Imprisoned Wisp of Light. Opening the flask releases a glowing wisp that lights the darkness for five minutes. That's kind of sick. I like that. Oh yeah, no, the building system for housing is incredibly good. Insanely so. I think out of every... Every, like, survival crafting game I've seen, this one has the best crafting. Like, best building. It's nuts, honestly. If you guys want to see it, I can show you that, too. Yeah. It's probably the best building system I've ever had in a video game. Have you seen Nightingales? This beats it hands down. Like, 100% beats it hands down. Alright. Give me a second to get through this. Yeah. It's just a better system. We're gonna go over here. We'll go back to my base and I'll show you. Yeah, just a straight up better system. So what you do is you craft blocks. So you'll be like, hey, I want some stone blocks, right? And see how the floor here is like stone? Be like, I want to make some rough stone blocks. Whatever that's going to be. And now I can go into here and we have our construction hammer. See at the bottom where we get terrain shapes? Look at all the shapes you get. It's insane. And you can build all of this out of any material that you want to. This house that I built, I built that one little piece at a time. Like, you have an insane amount of control over how you want this to look. An absolutely absurd amount. It's, it's amazing, frankly. So we're like, I want a 2x2 two two block. No, I want a cube. I want a small cube. Right? Or you want a single wall block. Look how tiny you can make them, too. I mean, like, I want a 4x4. Four because, four. like, this is this is how I built this floor here, is it's just these 4 meter by 4 meter ones, right? I'd be like, okay, well, what if I build that? You can also tear up the terrain as well. And you can see it took a certain amount of blocks to do that. So now I have to go and get more, like, more material, because this takes 256 blocks to make one of these. It's insane to me. Like, what they've done here is really, really compelling. You can go out here and, like, find these. Be like, oh, I'm dismantling this. Dismantle the stone. You can also grab anything like this. So, like, see this wall? You can just deform this. And, like, actually mine it. See? It's really, really awesome, actually. So the building is crazy compelling. The rake is so OP. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, if it's inside of your, like, radius around your, your, uh, your base or whatever, you can just dismantle all these things. So instead of having to break this down, you can just dismantle it, you know? Yeah, you can drink water for more stamina, too. Normally, you'd have to chop these down. But I have, since it's inside of the radius of my base, I don't have to chop it down. Yes! More! Alright. So now I can actually extend this out and make more buildings. I can make them go all the way out to... My base extends to here, right now. So it's like a pretty massive area. Yeah, right now it's not even that big either. Like, this is small currently. Let me see. It's two? That was a way. I should probably get rid of all of that. There's some garbage land above this. Just going to get rid of all of this. Because I don't have a rake. I just want to get it right to the edge. There we go. Yay. Can you use a hammer for that? Hmm. 
What is the tool for this? Yeah, there's like a terrain tool. There we go. Build block with hammer and delete it? Oh, so you can do like this? And then delete it? Oh, I see. That's not really what I wanted it to do. That looks kind of weird, right? Is there an undo? Yeah, there we go. You can only do undo so many pieces, it looks like. Yeah, see, that doesn't actually undo... But that doesn't actually get rid of the spot that I wanted it to. It deletes everything nearby, which is really kind of weird. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. It's kind of grabbing everything out with this. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to get it to kind of go a little bit flat, but not like super crazy flat. There we go. <laughs> Why is that a stone there? Then whatever, fine. All right, so now, now I need to make a wall. And I think the door frame was like this. Pretty sure that's one of the door frames I used. Let me go make sure. I kind of want to copy this other building. Yeah, it's exactly the same. There we go. And I'm out of materials. Slowly but surely, I need to fix this. Did you play Valheim? Yes. Yes, I did. There we go. By kind of digging all of this up, I won't have enough stone. I'll get a bunch of dirt for this. But if I go and get a bunch of stone now, I can now build out my foundation that I wanted to have in here. So I'm gonna... Yeah, you can see, like, how insane this building system is. You have so many options. Like, an absurd, just an absolutely absurd amount of options. Yeah, the music is wonderful. It's odd. A wizard's tower? I could make a wizard's tower. That is true. We should make this one the wizard's tower. Make it enormous. Make it absolutely huge, dude. We 
We need a gigantic wizard's tower. It needs to be huge. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'd be kind of amazed at, like, how much we can build in this. So I'm going to make the whole foundation, and we're going to start building upwards. And I'm going to do just a spiral staircase going all the way up. I need more stone, though. So I need to find some more stone. Because I don't have enough. There's no way. Yeah, we're just mining the rocks, but I'm running out of them is the problem. Well, I guess... Mining them seems to give more stone than not mining them. Interesting. Dismantling them gives me less stone. Huh. Can you select any location to build a base? Yes. Just build whatever that you... You have to make a, um, a lantern or whatever it is first. And once you make that, like, or the, 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 like, torch at the beginning of my town in the middle, you just put that anywhere, right? Flame altar, yeah, that's the one. Once you put that down, like, your whole base is around that, right? Just dig into the hillside? No, I'm just gonna build these. I'm gonna dig these. Oh no, my rocks! My beautiful rocks. I need them all. I need my rock. You get back here. Nope. Yeah, you can have up to eight altars, and you can fast travel between them as well, which is the big part. Being able to fast travel between all of these makes it, like, strategically interesting, you know? And on top of that, there's just so much radius around them. Is there a story to this? Yes. So, what you're seeing this open world adventure is us trying to rebuild the world, basically. All right, there we go. Hmm. So now, what is the rotation? No, rotate. Here we go. There we go. We got the beginning of our house. that piece off of there. And now, I think I'm starting to design... Yeah, I need to think about the stairs. So, I think what I'll do is I'll probably start them over on the right side and we'll fill the bottom with, like, alchemist stuff, right? We'll put our alchemist over here. So we can we can go and grab our alchemist, bro. And then put him in here. But I can see nothing because the sun is, is dropping. No. No, God damn it. It's fine. Let's go and make this. That is a roof. We need to get stairs. I'll probably put them right here. 
Or we could do an even cooler thing. No, I think I'll probably put them here. There's the way to go. And now we can make our floor again. I think what I'll do is I'll do up on each side of this. Like here, you know? I wonder how far up this will let me go. Maybe it'll let me build forever. Hey, do you guys think this is, a, like, an OSHA violation? What do you think? What do you... Th what do you think? Think this thing is stable? This is good, right? I think this seems good, right? I don't... I'm not seeing a problem. Seems pretty good. We could just do this. How tall do I want to make this? Can I make this? How I actually don't know if there's a height limit. Is there a height limit? <laughs> Does anyone know? Needs building area. Okay, there's a height limit. Alright. Alright. The build radius is the thing. There we go. So now we have our, our whole base. We can put whatever we want up here. It's fantastic. What are we doing? Don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry about it. We're building a mage tower, wizard tower. Full of wizards. Oh, what kind of a what kind of a thing do we want up here? It should be like covered in openings, right? Should just be like this. You can just see everywhere, you know? You know? Because it's a wizard tower. A wizard magic. I want to see everything from my beautiful wizard tower. I need a... Can I build a ladder? Are ladders buildable in this game? Can I build a ladder? I'm out of stone. I'm out of stone. And I'm sad. Hey guys, it's fast travel time. I did it. I traveled really fast. See? I got to keep all my stuff. Wow. Okay, this is actually hilarious. Like, look at this. This is amazing. Legitimate. I'm going to turn this into a huge tower, but this is also hilarious. There's a radius around this uh, flame where you can build around it, and you can't build outside of that radius. But each time you upgrade it, it gets larger. So if you see this, the next one is if I need, if I can get the flame to level 3, then I can bring this to 160, 160, 160, which means that will be taller. Even larger. Oh, 
All right. Now, here's the other thing, too. Uh, we can tab to enter build mode, and then we can add other types of buildings, I believe. Right now, we have to build... We have to build using the workbench, and I think we have to make manual crafting. Not a summoning staff. Not a flame altar. Where is it? Buh, campfire. There we go. So you can make a campfire. And then we can take that campfire and we can build it. We're going to salvage that because we don't need it. Campfire. Here we go. And then you can just kind of place the campfire down. And then we can cook on it. What are we going to cook though? So you actually have to skill based cook on this too. So that's nice grilled. If you hold it too long, it will actually... It'll get gross. RuneScape feel, yes. I don't think I can get any XP for this, though. Yeah, professional chef. So what does a grilled meat do? Raw wolf meat. Food poisoning. Very nice. This gives one constitution. Can I grill a tomato? Oh. Alright. I guess not. I wanted to grill a tomato, but I guess not. Not allowed, dude. Mine the ground lower so the tower is taller. I don't think that's how that works, bud. Grilling corn could work. Doesn't that just give me more strength, though? I don't really want grilled corn. I want mushrooms because they make me a better wizard. Build a moat? I could. Co-op for this game is great. I know. It's actually really, really nice. Because you can, you can make, like, a really nice base with each other, you know? I think it's actually so cool that they're they have very little restrictions on how you can build, you know? Cause it's kind of a rare thing. A lot of the times games don't work that way. A lot of the times it just ends up being like hyper restrictive. For no real reason either. Like there's not really a, a good reason for a lot of the hyper restrictive sort of stuff that you see in many of these types of games, but they didn't do that. They actually just let you go for it. It's nice. Alright. That is finished. My beautiful tower. Yeah, the top right says to build another flame altar. I just don't have anywhere I want to build it quite yet. Oh look, it put all my stuff here. <laughs> it's actually kind of amazing. Why did I put my stuff at the top of the tower? What? It's very funny. The last safe space? I guess that makes sense. There we go. Ugh. Tired today, man. So there are places you can fall that you can't get your stuff back? That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. My god, there's so much. Alright. So the next location that I have to get to is probably that big tower over there. You see that one? I don't know if I can get there, though. Because that's one of those. And if I activate that... Then we should be good to go. You build a tower in your game now? Yeah. 
It's just nice for seeing things, you know? I feel like I could do that. There's a lot of red over there, you know? But it seems like there's some ways around it. Oh. Spooky. Here we go. There's no way over there, is there? Oh, maybe. Nope, made a huge mistake. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I'm a god. Fantastic. I have the high ground now. It's true. Huh. What if I just dig upwards? I wonder if I could. This is the way. Nope. Sir. Oh, it's totally the way. It's totally the way. The dwarven wizard is coming. It's too late for you now. I'm on my way. It's so good. It's so good. Do I know? I do. Look at him. Look at those eyes. He's seen shit. This is how I get to the top of the hill. It'll take so long, it'll be worth it. Look at the terrain deformation, dude. Look at it. Look at it. This is amazing, actually. The fact that they allow you to deform the terrain in this way is crazy to me. Like, it's actually insane to me. Like, look at this. That's amazing. Oh, weird. Weird terrain up there. But, like, look at that. It resets outside your base? Only on relog, right? Why is that crazy? Deforming terrain in this way is not an easy thing to do where you're still maintaining collision. It's really not. It's not an easy thing to do. So being able to do this in an open world exploration game where you're like, you know what? I don't want to find a way up. I'm just going to dig a way up. Like, that's awesome. It feels really good. Oh, I know. Unreal did make it a lot easier, but still. Look at this. It's fun. It makes it fun. Aha! The wizard is here. Oh, I could have just gone over there. 
That's fine, this is better. Refuses to explain how. There's a tower over there. I should steal that tower. I love how fireballs in this are like little fizzly fireballs, right? Oh my god. What's this? Yellow. Salt. Uh, let's see. Where is that tower? So that tower's all the way over there. That's the one I'm trying to get to. Looks like we just gotta go down this way. Staff fireballs are much more impressive. They really are, yeah. I have uh, unlimited ice bolt now. Which is pretty sick. Unlimited ice bolt is really nice. It's also interesting because those enemies in there have respawned. Because we cleared all those guys out, and now they're back. Alright, let's think about this. I think I'll have to go that way. Because there's like kind of a, a hill going upwards there. They can get across. Fully get across. Almost there. Then I'll have two fast travel towers. At least, if I can activate this one. Not quite sure if I can or not. Did you have a meeting? Yeah, I have to leave at 9, so in about 20 minutes. I'm driving over to the other house, and I'm doing a walk around for the new internet. Did you play Warframe anymore? I haven't played Warframe in a long time, but I need to. It's a fun game. I'm really... I think the thing that gets me the most about this game is not only the sense of scale, but understanding that I could build anything anywhere that I wanted to. Right? I think that's the biggest thing for me, is like, I can at any time go drop down a base, build out anything that I wanted to, and just enjoy that. And I think that, to me, that is really compelling. New property of a structure? Was it raw land? It's got a structure. It's got a house. I'm going to be moving into that house, and then we're going to be building the ferret rescue on it. Yeah. Let me actually see. Was this built in Unreal Engine 5? Let's see. Enshrouded. Engine. What engine is enshrouded in? The holistic engine that they made themselves. Wow. Wow. That's a custom engine, dude. This is not Unreal. Fully custom engine. That's incredibly impressive. Like, incredibly impressive. Because people's first thought is like, oh, it's the... It's, it's Unreal. But like, no. This is... This is really, really good for a custom engine. That's a fantastic engine. I wonder... I wonder what the limits of it are. I wonder if they'll hit a limit on things that they can possibly do with it. I'm really interested in that. Yeah, no, this is, this is huge. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal, actually. Because making your own custom engine is already hard. Making custom engine for a game that is like a next-gen awesome... Oh, God, my legs. Like a game that looks like this, custom, that's even less easy. Oh, my bones! 
My bones. My bones. Oh, look, it's my stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty good landing, I think. Yeah. For some reason, it didn't use my glider, and I don't know why. Can I kill those? It hurts. I didn't need those organs anyway, it's fun. God, that's so cool. That is so nice looking. Let's see. I don't trust that even a little bit. Oh. This is going to turn it on, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. They were on little pattern timers. Very nice. Yeah, I know you can break all the vases in here. I only kind of break the big ones like this, you know? Because they drop a ton of loot. Big axe for the pots? Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. I think it was like that in the past. It's like we learned that the pickaxes are just better. Oh, no. Ineffective. There was something that was better. I don't remember what it was. There was something that, like, popped it in one hit. I don't remember what it was. Nice. Heal channel. Times seven. There we go. Ustatu is liberated? That's good news. Nice. There's electricity hitting in the wall over there. That's probably good, right?
Hmm. Got it. Nice. Oh, running out of stamina. Okay, made it. Have you played Noita? Yes, I love Noita. No, I'm jumping, game. It's like, do you want to grab this? No. There we go. This is what I wanted. Where are we going? Another chest? One health regeneration. Okay, hold up. My character currently has 16 extra stamina and 10 HP. But this gives 1 HP regen at all times. Oh. 16 stamina is huge, though. But regeneration is huge, though. Mine give 10 HP and 8 stam. Wait, what? Why can't they take this off? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on. I'll have less stamina, but that regen is... It's impossible to say no to. Alright, here we go. Yeah, can't stand if you're dead. That is true. We've communed! The low meadows are drenched in sickness, flooded with bile and bitterness. Light back the shroud, and unveil the peaceful glades lost beneath. Boundless wilds of untold beauty lie hidden under the decay. We did it! So now that I've done this, I can now fast travel to the Ancient Spire at any time. And if we go back to my base, I'm pretty sure that leveled up the flame. I think it did. No, it did not. Didn't level the flame. But we have another fast travel location, which is big. Big, big, big. Because now, we can fast travel there at any time. Yeah, the HP bar is going up hard now because I have one HP regen at all times. Now I can use this to go to other locations. So you can see that tiny little building all the way down there, right? We can go to any of this. See the red over there? Oh, that feels so good. I don't know why that felt so good, but that felt really good to do. Like, that felt really good to do. Yeah. That made me put the game in my cart? Yeah. No, it feels like that. There's just... There's moments in this where it's like... Just like scenery moments like this. And then some of them... Some of the moments are just like... Fun, action-y moments, you know? It's got a nice... Nice kind of... Difference between the two. Just feels good. What game is this? Enshrouded. It is an open world survival 
Whoa. Builder game. Man, it'd be really cool if you could just stop hitting me in the face. It'd be even cooler if this wand would bind to the right target. There we go. Bones. Did you guys know that skeletons are made out of bones? Did you know that? Surprising, I know. Is that a bone dog? Oh my god. Dude, he can play fetch with himself. Horrifying. First you were my savior. The other kids laughed at me when I couldn't read or write. You pushed them into the dirt, laughing back, and read me tales until I learned the words. You were smarter and braver. Later you were my love. Holding hands by the riverbed, I confessed. You broke my heart. Fiery whirlwind you are, I forgave you. How could I not? At least you were honest with me. Now what are you? A hollowed out husk. Burnt up by anger, there's nothing left of the woman I once held dear. In the end, I told you not to do it, but you never listened, do you? We just killed her, by the way. That skeleton that had the fire inside of her? That's who that note was talking about. Love that. Yeah, love that. Really good. I wonder if the carpenter's up there across this giant wooden bridge. Hmm. 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 Ah, uh, almost made it. I mean, basically, you know. So now where do we go? Now that I'm up here, now what? I have no idea. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah, upstrat, dude. What in the name of science is that over there? What is that? Do you see that? What is that? It's like an upside down teapot. There's no door over here. I guess that one? We'd have to go up. Oh. I feel like that was a bad idea. Oh? Oh? Ring of stamina. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This ring gives stamina regeneration. Yeah, now we're getting that. All right. Done. Oh, well, I guess I made a choice for me. F. Stamina regen is awesome. Look how fast that regeneration's going. Holy shit. Yeah, no, that's awesome, dude. Look at that.
Look at all this weird mushroom garbage. It's not even shrouded over here, but it's it's like a mushroom wall. You know? It's like really weird. This environment is so huge. Weird calcified mushroom wall. Winner is me. I think at this point all I really need is levels. I think it's really what it comes down to. Is I need levels. Because I don't have very many skill points. I don't really need the spirit attribute. I need int. I need a lot of int. Did I just get hit by something? There we go. So I get more int there. When attacking with a magical weapon, your critical hit chance is increased by 10%. That's enormous. All shroud damage is increased by an additional 10%. Chain hit. On critical hit with magical weapon, the attack will automatically hit a second enemy within 15 meters for 5 shock damage per intelligence. Insane. Chain reaction. That is good. When you're killed by an enemy, all allies within 50 meters will regain 30% of their maximum HP. That's kind of funny. So what if we go down mage and then also battle mage? I know there's a meeting. I know. It'll be okay. I'm looking at this first. Double jump. Okay, so I have to get double jump. I'm going to do endurance into runner into double jump. That's what's going to happen there. So we can do... Yeah. Yeah, that's how that'll go. Oh. Poor beans. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll go down this route. We'll get chain reaction. And then I'll go up this route. And I'll get double jump. Because that seems like the right thing to do. Honestly. Dessert stomach, you get one additional food slot? Oh, man. Okay, that alone is really huge as well. An extra food slot is huge. Because the buffs are insane. Hmm. Hmm. Do 
You can draw your bow. Draw and use your bow while gliding. You will fall slowly. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Pressing the up button while gliding will give you a small height boost. The skill can only be used once per flight. That is also amazing. Double jump while gliding, basically. Yeah, updraft seems enormous. Quick charge is also huge. 10% chance to summon a friendly skull companion when killing an enemy. So, quick charge and necromancer, most definitely. Alright, chat. It is time for me to go. It is time. However, that's okay. I will be back on on Friday. And this has been Enshrouded for a sponsored stream. And I, I actually find this game really compelling. So if you want it, it is linked in the pin. You can go and use that to find it. And uh, I definitely want to play the hell out of this. I want to play this more often, frankly. Because I think this is quite fun. So... Today... Today we're going to raid a buddy of mine. Because she's currently streaming and I never get to raid her. So, we are raiding Onigiri today. That is right. Onigiri. Onigiri today. That's right. She's awesome as hell. She's really, really cool. So, I will see you all later. And, uh, have a good Thursday. Bye, everybody. Oh, wait. Cancel. She just ended her stream. <laughs> God damn it. She literally ended her stream while I was raiding. We're going to raid King Gathalion instead. Oh, my God. That's funny as hell. Raiding King Gathalion instead. That's very funny, dude. That's very funny. Why short stream? I have a meeting to go to. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't get away from it. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. For real this time. There you go, YouTube. Oh.